going on everybody hello hello it is good to see everyone's lovely faces today in chat how's it going how's it going zug zug dude i'm feeling some serious hype today um i'm very very excited to share more with you guys real soon how's it going ringo hello hyper nook better be smash remix shake my head <laughs> yeah you know what i was planning on playing on virtual console on wii but I like the idea of doing Smash Remix, technically, honestly. I haven't really tried it very much. Okay, what's this remix? I need it now. You better show me that link. Oh, the, the Gary Williamson song? Dude, no problem. Uh, let me let me find it for you, dude. It's a Garrett Williamson song. Do you want the YouTube link or the SoundCloud link? I'll just give you the SoundCloud link. Here you go. Here it is, Zug. It's fire. That's what it is, right? Hey, wait. That's Melee. That's Smash 64. Got him. Got him. Now, we'll be playing Smash 64 today, but we'll play Melee on Saturday, and I'll say more about that in a bit. I don't think I've ever seen your stream introduction. Pretty sick. Thank you. I'm glad you like it, Zug. Hey, Preston, my birthday is actually on Saturday, so it's not quite yet, but it's uh, it's coming up, so thank you very much. Give it a try. Smash Remix is just Smash 64, but better. Yeah, there's more characters and stuff, more stages from what I understand, right, Hyper? Gonna snag that Series X? Probably not in the beginning, Zug, unless I have a, like, a really good reason to get one. How about you? I'm sure you're getting one, right? I mean, I'm assuming you are. I don't actually know, obviously. Um, so I want to make one little... I want to point one thing out here. I'm going to go out of green screen world for a second because I want to show you guys something. So let's go to filters and turn off the green screen for a second. Boink. 
Okay. So now you can see my green screen. I want to show you something kind of cool. Right now, I've got two green screens. I got my new pull down green screen, but I also have this other wall of green screen. And the reason why I have that is because I've got my PC CRT set up right there with my Wii. So I'm playing on console and I'm using my capture card. So, so what's actually kind of funny is I hope I can show you guys. There's three, there's three monitors here. This is the one I normally have the, uh, I normally have the webcam on this main monitor that I have. This is my top monitor. Whoa. And this is uh, the new, the monitor that I had it on at the start of stream today. But I'm going to put the monitor, I'm actually going to put it on top of this one while I'm playing my games. So, uh, yeah. It'll be at a different angle than you're used to. It'll be from this angle. So hopefully, it should work out okay. Let's see if it does. <clears throat> Let's give it a shot, shall we? All right, so under filters, I'll just turn that back on and look at that. Voila. Oh, there is one adjustment I do need to make on this that I forgot about. Um, come to think of it. I will resize the game as needed, but I have this configured for melee right now. Um, but I'll, I can reconfigure it later. Nice to eat, thanks. Got that chilling on the screen there. Dude, I have three CRTs. Hello, mom, I'm on stream. <laughs> exactly. E and as a insider of the mod, I am required to advertise them. Gotcha. Well, you're doing a great job, Hypernook. You're doing a great job. Yes, that is my room. Well, it's my streaming room. My actual sleeping room's in a different room. We know where he streams. Yeah, it'd be fun to give you a tour sometime. Right now, it's kind of a mess, um, but I'll show you a few things. Like, look over there. My main CRT and GameCube and N64 and stuff are over there. There's my router and my modem and all that stuff. Um, it's just kind of chilling over there. It's like my main CRT. And then um, my other CRT that I use for my Atari 2600 and stuff um, is in the closet behind me. So, hey, Esther. What's up? Yes, thank you, Esther. I do. I am seeing that the overlay is a little off. There's a good reason for that. There's a good reason for that. Um. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Um. So what I was starting to do is I was starting to retool this for mon for not Monday stream for Saturday stream. And obviously I forgot to change it all back before. <laughs> I uh I started stream today. So sorry about that, guys. At least I started on time, right? Um, I can make the adjustments for whatever game we're playing, but I think we're going to start with Smash 64, so let's venture on over to that game and uh, give it a whirl. I think this is pretty much the right aspect ratio, question mark? We'll find out. Yes, it's melee. Yes, it is. So what's funny is you see how the, you see the black lines on my overlay? Where the screen is, there's a top black bar and a bottom black bar. In the 4x3 era, a lot of games actually had like their own aspect ratios. So like, so like, basically, it wasn't perfectly 4x3. It was like little variations. I don't remember what um, I don't remember what aspect ratio 64 is, but I think melee is like 73 by 60 or something like that. So, is Smash 64 three socks or four socks? I don't remember. Hey, totally not Mitch. Welcome. Thanks for being here. How are you? It's four. Okay. Why do you say there's four players? That's really weird. I only have one controller plugged in. Okay, so I'm going to do this for testing five. Oh, it's now four. That's right, it used to be five. That's what I thought. Four since the time limit. Gotcha. Um, so let's take the time to... Okay, yeah. So with this screen, I'll take the time to resize the X Capture one to fit it more properly. So let's do that. Okay. Okay, so now 
when we reposition this can get all weird and stretched out for a second here and cover me oh no i'm gone the game took me away all right how's that look that looks a lot better i like that welcome kizumi how are you you really like the camera angle nice thanks esther yeah so i showed everyone this earlier but i want to take time maybe to show it again um I do want to show it again, actually, because it's actually really cool. So I'm going to quickly disable the, the green screen here. Oops, wrong. Wrong one. All right. So look what I do. Look what I did, Esther. I have my standard green screen that pulls down. And then I added my old green screen here. So I have a wall here of green. And I have a wall here of green. And... That's why I have, I can put it on this monitor. I can put it on the monitor I normally put it on. And I can put it on this monitor way over here. That's my PC CRT. Kind of cool, right? I think it's pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, when I re-enable the filter to do chroma key, it's all green. It's completely seamless. I mean, I wouldn't say completely seamless. You can kind of see a little seam there if you look really carefully. But I'm honestly impressed with, like, I think that's really impressive. I think it looks really cool. So the reason why I'm moving the webcam this way is I'm facing this direction more to play the game. So it's a bit, it's not me going like this all the time. It's me like facing the same direction. And you guys can see my keyboard a little bit. My screen is a little weird, but whatever. It doesn't really show up on the gameplay. So yeah. How's it going, Andrew37? Good to see ya. How's your, day, how's your day going, my friend? How's your day going? You've discovered Elder Scrolls Online? Nice. I'm glad you're enjoying it, Mitch. That's good stuff. Yeah, five was the most recent one I was aware of too, Hyper. Four and eight minutes just had to check. Wow, just like Melee, huh? I'm going to break into your home and install Remix on your Wii. I have Remix on emulation. It's. I think I tried it. Maybe? Question mark? I'm not sure. Isn't that awesome, Esther? I noticed the three new channel awards... 2016 green screen. Well, it wasn't 2016. It was probably like 2018 green screen. You were doing a horrible job with your witness protection. My witness protection. Uh, yeah, insane asylum. Can you get a radzo, please? Thank you. All right. I look weird from the side. I know. the 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 length of my nose is like ac accentuated, but it's not straight on. You're used to seeing me straight on. But sideways, my side profile. Hey, it's CJag. Welcome. Yeah, we're playing some Smash 64. I, I beat this last year to unlock uh, Mushroom Kingdom, but I thought it'd be fun to kind of explore this game because there's some little doodads and secrets in here that are, that can be fun to go over. Um, including, you know, be fun too is turning this into like a Smasher David retrospective. Like when I started on Twitch. I had a, a completely different set of uh, like overlays. It was all Smash 64 themed, and now I'm all Smash Melee themed. So it was like a, it was like a beautiful evolution in the stream, and and of course a lot of you guys weren't even there for that. Zug Zug was here for that, but he's probably the only person here. I really need an XLR, but they're so expensive. Yeah, Kizumi. They basically like right when COVID hit, and right after that, the price went way up. And I bought my Go XLR Mini just before COVID, completely coincidentally, and this mic. Man, am I thankful that I bought it when I did. It's it's an amazing tool. Um, my day's going really well, actually, Preston. Thanks for asking. How's your day going? It was good and very relaxing. Let's go, Andrew. That's right. You had your day off for veterans. Did some chores around the house and made some spicy fried chicken. Andrew, I'm so glad to hear that. I know recently had your brother over and, you've, and work's been kind of hard on you and stuff. So the time off and the fact that it was unexpected, too, dude, I'm, it makes me so happy for you, man. I'm really glad to hear that. We got, oh man, Esther's flexing her new uh, Christmas little, um, her, her Christmas uh, emotes there. That reminds me, on the very far left part of the screen, you're going to see some Christmas themed emotes up here. And those are all, those will all be unlocked if we hit the sub goal, by the way. So, put a new graphics card on my PC, was about to go back to F fi Final Fantasy 14. Then my girlfriend said, hey, let's try Elder Scrolls Online. And yeah. It good, fam. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that, bitch. I'm glad it was a good recommendation from your girlfriend, too. It's good when you and your significant other can bond over stuff that you mutually love. 
the nose of power. I forgot who was somebody in the XP days in 2016, like put like there's the the Ganondorf profile in melee when you select him, and they put my face over it, and my nose was the same length as Ganondorf's. <clears throat> a Ganondorf nose, yeah, Zug, you're you're referencing that you're referencing that image exactly. It was generic. Oh, was it? Okay, it was generic. Okay, that's funny. David knows go pog. How's it going, Skater Goat? Good to see ya. We're reliving some Smash 64. And, uh... Oh, wow. The C-Stick works, too. That's kind of crazy. Uh, there's no... That's weird. There's no timer. I guess it's not, not a Smash 64 thing you can do. I haven't played Final Fantasy 14, but I've heard it's pretty good. Which one's Final Fantasy 14? There's so many that I lose track of them. I may or may not have linked this stream on your new Melee Heck post. Oh! <laughs> Thanks, Esther. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm so glad that you cut that post. You remember it distinctly? I remember it too, but you remember who posted it. It's Microsoft Wandos! Welcome back, my friend. Okay, so Essie Lessie in chat is who you saw on stream with me yesterday, by the way, if you wanted to give her a follow. When did you change your overlay setup? It looks good. Thank you. So this is a 4x3 one, Skater Goat. Um, I've made iterative changes throughout the years. Oh, there's a Joan Soda Christmas emote. Um, but Skater Goat, I'll show you a few things. Here's my normal 16x9 one. And normally the webcam is over here, like this. But because of this green screen surrounding me, I can actually almost go, how many degrees is that? You're a teacher skater, tell me. <laughs> Where it's a quarter circle? Was that 90 degrees? No, that sounds too little. I guess it's a full 90 degree, but I'm covering two walls. So I'm covering 180 degrees. I'm covering 180, 180 degrees, I think. Oh, thank you, yeah. It's funny, the, the, the CRT's got these little notches. Should wait, let's do this. That's close enough. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up, Esther, I appreciate it. 90's a fourth of a circle, yes. But I feel like the viewing angle, because it's two walls, I feel like it's a 180 degree view. Yeah, I, I don't know how the view stuff works, but like rearrangement. Oh yeah, um, I did simplify it a bit, Skater. So maybe you're talking about that too. But yeah, let's go back to the four by three scene. 270 degrees? I don't know about that. That seems like it's more than, hmm. We don't learn that in second grade though. <laughs> All right, skater. But you're just, you're a, you're a teacher, so it doesn't matter what grade it is. You're just supposed to have be omniscient and have all the knowledge in the world about it, about every topic you learn in school. Um, <laughs> uh, that sounds like a good idea, Zug. I might do that. I don't know that I have Remix installed though, so if you could send me a link to that, I might download it in the background. Mm, don't really know. Right, Lolo. Microsoft Windows is such a good username. Esther and I were admiring it yesterday. All right, so check this out. In Smash 64, they had a little section where you could learn about all these characters. And in 1999, when my brother and I played this for the first time, we did not know who a lot of these characters were. And so we read this exhaustively because we loved the game. We loved, of course, we knew the characters we loved, Yoshi and Mario and Kirby and Donkey Kong. We knew those characters, but there's some mysterious new ones like Fox. And Link was like a brand new character to us then. So we didn't know much about Link. And we didn't know who Samus was. We didn't know who Captain Falcon was or Ness. So in Smash 64, they had a little a list of, of a, little, a little bio about what the, char what the character was. And it's got a little little area on the bottom where it lists where, what game they're from. And so you can learn a lot about the characters in the game with this. And this started a trend, which I would say lasted basically until Smash 4. And ultimately, they kind of did away with this a little bit. I guess you have stickers, but you don't have—they don't have trophies anymore. They don't have really descriptive things like this anymore, which is kind of sad, to be honest. But I sure can, which I might have to download myself. Also, okay, Zug, <laughs> sounds good, man. Little has been said of Nessa's character, except PK Fire. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna read each of these um, character bios, okay? <clears throat> Ness was a seemingly average kid from Onnit or Want. 
It's debated. It's debated how you pronounce that. And I hate the pronunciation "want," but it's probably the canon pronunciation. But in truth, he was destined for much more. When a strange meteorite landed near his hometown, the little boy, with psychic powers, set out to save the world. Little has been said of Ness's character, and much remains hidden. What a mysterious boy. That's right, Skittergoat. Thanks for using the birthday command. My birthday is Saturday, and I'm planning on doing a really big 10 to 12 hour stream. Uh, I'm going to speed run, I'm gonna be speedrunning the entirety of Super Smash Bros. Melee, which is like what my entire overlay is, is, is uh, you know, inspired from and everything. And I've got my whole setup ready. And it's going to be the first of its kind. And I will talk about it more as I get closer. I'm, I'm really excited, looking forward to it. Brawl's Vault was very good. Yeah, Brawl had a lot going for it. Although I think the stickers weren't my favorite. And stickers are what, like, basically ushered in uh, spirits. So that's just kind of not my favorite thing. I think I think Melee really hit the perfect balance of tons of cool trophies and tons of cool information and stuff. The other thing I do like about Ultimate, though, is for all the music tracks, they list, like, the game series. They list the title of the song and if it's a remix or not. I love that stuff. That's, oh, they did such a good job with that. Send a link in your Discord DMs. Thank you, Zugzug. Zug. That's awfully kind of you. <laughs> I'm going to hiccup real quick. All right, so I'm going to download this. Smashremix.zip. No, I don't want the source code. I wouldn't know what to do with the source code. All right, yeah, so there's like patching. There's patching instructions and stuff. Uh, we'll see if I can figure that out. I might not be able to really kind of figure it out during stream because sometimes stuff like that goes wrong. So we'll see, we'll see. For now, we'll just do Smash 64 and then it will wander into remakes as it, we see fit. Yes, yeah, Skater, I'm really excited about it too. Really excited about it. You went from Vaporwave to Melee, the development. Yeah, Zug, that's true. Before Vaporwave, I did... Um, a Smash 64 theme, actually. And we're going to look at that. We're going to look at some of the overlays that I made a long time ago. Because um, it'd be fun to go back and look at those. You grew up with Brawl Macro. Nice. What uh, character did you play in Brawl the most? What was your, who's your main in that game? Okay, guys. Now, this might be the most unrecognizable character of them all. But I'm going to read his bio to clarify, to clarify him. Although best known as the mustachioed plumber who battles the turtle tribe with his distinct jumping action. This internationally famous hero has also acted as a referee, a driver, and even a doctor. He's been linked to Princess Peach to Mushroom Kingdom for years, but to this day, their true relationship remains a mystery. So why why are so, why is Smash 64 like so heck bent on portraying every one of its characters as a, myst as a mysterious figure? Little has been said of Ness's character and much of it remains hidden. But today, but but to this day, Peach's relationship with Mario remains a mystery. Ooh, you're a Bowser main, nice. Yeah, it's Red Luigi, Lolo. So here's some here's something fun. If you go, if you see the list of games that Mario's in, it lists Super Mario Bros. on S on NES, Super Mario Kart, and Mario Kart 64. Those are really weird choices for works. In my opinion, it should be. Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario World, or Super Mario Brothers 3, and then Super Mario 64. Like, wh why, why, are, why are two of the games Mario Kart games? Yeah, exactly, Zug. That's what I'm saying. Isn't that weird? The verbose is what it is. Bro, who wrote this? They used a heckin' thesaurus. <laughs> right, Hyper? Oh. And they used alliteration, too. The Turtle Tribe. Um, <clears throat> it released in 1996. Yeah, Smash 64 is 1999. Smash 64 is 96. Um, Mario 64 was a launch title. Yeah, Mario 64 is a launch title, and then Smash came out only two years before Melee. Hello, Dude, David. Van How Gamer. Are you? Really good. Thank you so much, Van, for the 25 bits. How's your evening going? We're just looking at Smash 64 and exploring the menus. All right, guys, here we go. Okay, we're going to get to his works in a second. First, we're going to read Luigi's bio. This is Green Mario, okay? Though often hidden. Hidden? Okay, hold on. Before I read on, we've got the word hidden 
in Ness's bio. We've got the word mystery in Mario's bio. And now in Luigi, we've got hidden in the first sentence. These characters are not that mysterious. They, they, that's not what they're known for. They are known for being approachable and basically embodying the hero's journey when it comes to like storytelling and epics in their games. They are not mysterious figures. They are not mis... Anyway, let's continue. Ahem. Though often hidden in his older brother's other older brother Mario's shadow, Luigi is, in reality, very popular. Taller than Mario, Luigi also jumps higher. Although he didn't appear in Super Mario 64, in Mario Kart 64, he performed to the best of his ability. <laughs> For one who seems to always be in the background, he has many fans who eagerly await his appearance. This was predicting Nintendo's um the year of Luigi or whatever it was in 2014. Was that 2014? Or was it a, or 2015 maybe? During the Wii U era? Okay, let's look at his games. We have Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. 2. Wait, it's Mario Bros. Okay. This is so strange. We have Super Mario Bros. Which Luigi also appears in, but we're going with Mario Bros. instead. Then we have Super Mario Brothers 2, which, I mean, to be fair, is a pretty good one to represent Luigi. I think that's fair. And then Mario Kart 64. What is with your obsession with Mario Kart? I think it's funny that it says, although he didn't appear in Super Mario 64. So they mention Mario 64 in Luigi's bio, but don't include it here. Instead, they use Mario Kart. How? This is really strange. I would love to know what the reason was behind that. PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360. I personally like Xbox 360 because uh, Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, and Perfect Dark are playable on that console. Other than that, I don't have a real real strong preference. I do know there's a lot of really good PlayStation exclusive games on the PS3, like Last of Us and Uncharted series, those sorts of things. But I personally never got into those series, so that's how I feel about it. What about you, BBH? What is your pick between those two? Um, I'm glad you're doing good, Van. Anything exciting happening for the weekend coming up for you? The Luigi one has a nice foreshadowing to Luigi's Mansion. Hmm. Where, where, where are you reading that, Zug? Just where it says, to be in the background, he has many fans who eagerly await his appearance. You think that's a foreshadowing to it? Ah, yes, the mystery of, did Luigi pay taxes for the mansion or nah? I bet you he didn't. You know what I bet? This is what I bet, Radzo. Luigi consult the, consulted Yoshi to be his CPA, and Yoshi is not certified, so he was just an accountant, and he just basically told Luigi to commit tax fraud and don't pay any taxes. I, I'm sure that's exactly what happened, Radzo. Mystery debunked. Mystery destroyed. POV. You're the word hidden, and David calls you out for existing twice. I mean, Lolo, I think the word hidden is appropriate for like mysterious games or, like murder mystery films or like something like that but for a cartoony cartoony smash em up game nah brah nah brah i like smash ultimate better because it has more characters stop this game looks really lame it has bad graphics lol donnie all I can say is I'm happy that you're saying it and not somebody else, because at least with you, I know you're trolling. At least with you, I know you're trolling. Mario Bros. is the 1983 arcade, which was his first appearance, and Super Mario Bros. 2 most likely means lost levels or just the Doki Doki reskin. So I agree with that, Zug, but that also applies to Mario. And Luigi was also in Super Mario Kart. So every one of the games listed here, Luigi is also in. And every one of these games, Mario is also in. So like, I don't know. So you're right about the Doki Doki Panic uh, reskin. And Luigi kind of became his own a bit more there. But his first game was, he was also in Super Mario Bros. too. So anyway, anyway, Super Tax Fraud 64, that's a game I'd play, Macro. Skater calling calling Donald to the insane asylum. By the way, Skater, if you have enough channel points, you can have me... You can have me call report him to the insane asylum on your behalf if you'd like to redeem that. Luigi blushes. What if Yoshi doesn't pay taxes? 
because he's not a legal citizen of Mushroom Kingdom because he illegally immigrated from Yoshi Island. The lore goes deeper, Radzo. Frankly, I'm not sure I want to find an answer. You don't spend my points. I have a problem. Oh, yeah. You don't spend your points. I forgot. Okay. Yeah. Insane Asylum? Can you get Donald, please? Zug wants to give this thing a shot, and that's really the only reason. Thanks. Thank you, Zug, for redeeming report to the Insane Asylum. Who said Donnie was trolling? Just, I just know he is. I only have a PS3, and I used to have an Xbox 360, but it was stolen by one of my relatives that I had never heard of again. And I might buy a 360. My favorite non-Nintendo franchise is Little Big Planet, which is on the PS3. Okay. So what I'm gathering is you like the PS3 because it's got one of your favorite games on it, but you want to give the 360 another shot. You think the Insane Asylum is your ally? I was born in it. You barely adopted it. I'm glad you like it, Zug. <laughs> it doesn't know it's adopted. <laughs> Alright, so that's Luigi's bio. Now, if there's if there's something related to mystery or hidden or secrecy in the next bio, I'm convinced that Sakurai just loves reading, like, murder mystery books and watching murder mystery films and wanted to jam as much of that into his first Smash game as he could. Alright? Let's get through this together, guys. Donkey Kong and Mario started out as arch rivals, but they've patched things up in recent years. These days, DK spends his time searching the jungle for bananas instead of kidnapping beautiful maidens. In the past few years, other members of the Kong family have cashed in on DK's fame as well, including his favorite nephew, Diddy. Okay, this is the most wholesome, this is the best bio by far. If there's a tier list for bios, DK's number one right now. I like that they acknowledged his history with with Mario, where they used to be like, he used to throw barrels at him, but now they're like all cool. And instead of doing bad things, although what's funny about this is I think, wasn't the Donkey Kong of the arcades Cranky Kong technically? So I think this is technically inaccurate. It also mentions Diddy Kong, who would appear in Super Smash Bros. Brawl and forward. So some foreshadowing there to another character inclusion, which is fun. My, the, the reason it doesn't get a perfect rating, though, is it doesn't include Lanky Kong in the bio. But it also gets points for not including mystery or hidden or any secret related word in the bio. So that's that's the first one, good one so far. Now let's look at the games. Okay, we've got Donkey Kong, the original. We've got Donkey Kong Country and Mario Kart 64. Again, I'm going to remove points for the Mario Kart 64 reference. I feel like... Sakurai is too obsessed with that game because it's been in three so far. Um, I do love the Donkey Kong Country inclusion. That's vital. I, that, that, if that was a miss, that would have been a, a would have been terrible. But why didn't they do Donkey Kong 64? I guess it came out the same year as Smash 64. So maybe it wasn't out yet. No, it was. Because they considered using Grant Kirkhope for the voice for DK. But he decided against it. So I think... I think DK64 was out first, and then Smash 64 came out. So they should have included 64. I like Smash Ultimate better because of more characters. I'm going to ignore that, Hyper. Uh, what is your favorite non-Nintendo franchise that isn't Banjo and Kazooie? Favorite non-Nintendo franchise that isn't Banjo and Kazooie? Um, good question. Really sure actually i'll have to give that one some thought harvest moon comes to mind uh maybe harvest moon might be it that's a good question how about you what's your favorite one he's not a mystery though <laughs> true finally lolo bro mario and dk aren't friends they would literally have a versus series about the toys years later that's true yeah they did rekindle that kind of rivalry with the Mario vs. DK series. Well, on this on the Game Boy Advance, and then later with the mini March of the Minis on the DS. David's bias towards Donkey Kong. Ah, eh, that's probably true, also, Donnie. Your community kind of trash. The Discord is a mess. You are very strict. You can't take a joke well. I love that skater goat. Good reference. Good reference. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Excellent time.
timing that. Mm. Mm. Perfect. You seized the opportunity. Thank you for doing that, man. I was trying to send that earlier, but it took me a while to find it. You, you wanted to quote it perfectly. 99.99? Oh, percent of the games. AAR Mario Kart 64. Yeah, seriously, so far. All you have to do is go to my chat and use Binks. There you go. I'm sorry, David, I was memeing. It's fine, Hyper. I knew you were memeing. I'm just, I just had to breathe calmly. Couldn't remember what the command was, so I went to your channel and searched for the command. Oh. Yeah, it's just the name, apparently. We got those DK emotes in the chat. Let's go. Wait, how do you spell memeing? 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 I've seen memeing with an E, like how Lolo's spelling it. Um, but the temptation for me is to not include the last E. All right, guys. We read Donkey Kong's bio. Okay. We're going to go on to the next one. Now, hold on. Before we go to this, remember. Top on Crown Wins. Thank you so much. I appreciate the follow. Welcome on in. Um, okay, before we go to this next one, again, remember, keep your eyes peeled for things related to mystery or, or things being hidden or something secret, okay? Link is the valiant boy hero of the Legend of Zelda series in which he fights against the evil Ganon to recover the Triforce. Though his tools may change with each adventure, his strength and, righteous and righteousness wow, remain constant. With his trustworthy sword and a variety of weapons, he takes adventure head on. Okay, so nothing related to mystery or secrecy. So maybe we just hit a rough patch. All right, so we got a really good lineup of games here. We got The Legend of Zelda, the original one. We got A Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time. Definitely by far the best list of games so far. But definitely the best one so far. How's it going, Crown Wins? <laughs> yeah, memeing. Link's three games, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Mario Kart 64. <laughs> I was half expecting that, Donnie. And here's the ironic part. You know why he omitted it? He wanted to include it. But but at the time, Shigeru Miyamoto was like, no, Sakurai, we're not going to tell him that Link's eventually going to be in Mario Kart 8. Okay, we can't just drop that bomb in 1999. That game's not coming out for, like, you know, another 15 years or whatever. It follows the same rules as scheme scheming. Oh, you're right. The English is weird. Yeah, there's, there's all sorts of exceptions in English. But that's a good point, Skater. The scheming. Using scheming as a model for memeing. I like that. I don't know. I, E, I, E, I, N, G looks wrong. Yeah. Agreed. It looks more... Exactly! Hyper. That's also my conundrum. You came from the Discord? Let's go. Thanks for being here. Uh, which Discord, by the way? Is it my Discord or someone else's? But thanks for, thanks for chilling. So again, by far... The best list of works so far. So right now, Donkey Kong, his bio wins. But right now, Link's works list wins as a definitive good list to have. And I feel like in Brawl, or no, actually Melee, in Melee and Brawl, they did a better job of like listing out more like iconic appearances of them in games. I can't believe the English language won't recognize the number eight in words. What does it say for Skater Goat? Skater Goat. He's not Young Link. Trash character. Dang, Lolo, that's that's rough. I mean, I love Young Link too, but this boy used to be Young Link too. Oh, and YouTube. Nice. Very cool. Well, Crown wins. Um, I'm very happy you're here. What video were you watching? I'm, I'm curious. All right, guys. Next bio. Again, mystery. We're going to be looking for all that stuff. Samus Aran is the toughest bounty hunter in the galaxy. Ooh, Captain Falcon's also on this list, so that's a tall, that's a pretty big claim. Using a special suit powered by the technology of the bird people, which allows her to execute daring air acrobatic feats, Samus pursues the airborne life form Metroid throughout the universe. So, something to note. It just says the bird people. It doesn't say Chozo, it just says the bird people. <laughs> like, maybe you don't use such a derogatory term for them and call them by their, the name of the race? I mean, come on. It could be like, they could have said the technology of the bird people like known as the Chozo or the Chozo or I don't know. There's like, you know, the bird people. It's like, goodness, it's kind of insensitive. You mean like the Ruto? Not, not Ruto. Um, that's Princess Ruto. What's the race of uh, bird people in Wind Waker called again? I forgot. 
No Metroid Prime Federation Force? Cringe. Where is Metroid Prime? Rito. Thank you, Donnie. Where is Federation Force in this list? So we got Metroid. We got Metroid 2 Return of Samus and Super Metroid. Perfectly, perfectly splendid list. In fact, I think those are the only three games she was in until that point, right? So. Oh, also, one more thing. No Mother 3 in... in no Mother... Well, actually, I guess Ness wasn't in Mother 3. Or the original Mother game. Is Earthbound the only game Ness has been in? I think that's the case. Maybe? Oh, Undertale. <laughs> we, we, need, we need Undertale. We need Undertale reference in here. Metroid, Metroid 2, Federation Force, and Mario Kart 64. That is what the lineup should have been, Donnie. Yes. Bird up. PSP, PlayStation on the go. PS3, a grill. <laughs> yeah. PS5, a modem. Politicians want to take everything away from me, but I just want a PS3 grill. PS Vita, who remembers that? Gosh dang it, BB. Ness was also in Super Mario Smash Brothers for the Nintendo 64. That's true. At that point, he was. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to the next character, okay? PS4 a tower, PS5 a router. Yeah, guys, Undertale, Nintendo, Mother One, Earthbound Beginnings, Lucas, Mother Three. Yep. Mother Two. It's weird that Ness got in Smash and then Lucas got in Smash, and there's no mention of Nintendo, from what I can gather. I think that's kind of weird, actually. All right, guys, here we go. <clears throat> Yoshi is the friendly dinosaur of Yoshi's Island. He began as Mario's partner, but has since built his own identity, and now appears in many games. Really? Was he in that many games at that point? He uses his technique ability, his unique ability, I should say, to turn whatever he swallows into an egg as his foremost attack. Yoshi's come in a rainbow of colors, and are said to have a high IQ from a very early age. Ah... They watch Rick and Morty young. Good job, Yoshi. You have good taste in, in, uh, in video entertainment. Nintendo was a sticker in Brawl. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Where's Travis? Stop, Hyper. I gotta head to bed. I'm sorry I couldn't stay longer. Hey, I'm looking forward to seeing you Saturday, Skater Goat. And I'll be up at 8 a.m. my time. So finally a decent hour for you to watch. If you are so inclined. So have an amazing night, Skater. And thanks for popping in. Throw me that amazing uh, quote, and uh, it's really good to see your username again. So have a good night. We'll talk real soon. At least there's no Mario Kart 64. Very true, BB. Okay, we got Super Mario World. Excellent. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Excellent. And Yoshi's Story. So here's my only problem with this. I think that's a really good list. But what about the game where he debuts? Yoshi on Game Boy. I mean, I feel like these games are more definitive Yoshi games, but are we going to forget about his origin? No Yoshi's cookie. <laughs> they didn't even list out his the titular game Yoshi, right Donnie? I mean, this list makes more sense, but it's pretty funny not to list it. Exactly! I agree with that, Donnie. His debut was in Super Mario World though. Oh, was it? I'm not sure actually. Was it Mario World? You know what? Maybe it was. Maybe it was. I think the Game Boy... The Game Boy came out in what year? Mario World was first. Okay, then that's fine. Then that's fair. I think leaving out Yoshi is fine at that point, then. I think leaving out Yoshi is fine. Because it wasn't, like, a hugely, like, groundbreaking game or anything. It wasn't a bad game, but... Not mentioning Yoshi's Cookie. I know, what's with that? High IQ, uh-huh. Yeah, Yoshi's have high IQs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're buying that. Okay, Sakurai. All right, guys. Okay, here we go. Here's the next one, all right? The eight inch... Okay, hold on. I want to I want to notice... I want you guys to notice something. Based on the length of the description, what character do you think Sakurai likes the most? Oh, wow. Look how long that description is. It's almost like Sakurai likes this character. The eight inch high Kirby hails from a distant, peaceful star. Why don't they say pop star? Give it the title. Like his simplistic appearance, he is an easily understood character. True to his instincts, Kirby eats when he gets tongue hungry and sleeps as soon as he grows tired. Wow, I have a lot to learn from Kirby. Nevertheless, Kirby remains a formidable opponent. 
In addition to his distinct flying and swallowing skills, he also has the ability to copy enemy attacks for ever-changing action. Also a really, really solid bio. We've got Kirby's Dreamland, Kirby's Pinball Land, and Kirby Superstar. Wait, Kirby's Dreamland on Game Boy? Was that before? Wait, what about... Kirby Block Ball, underrated. Block Ball was really fun. Um, my dog's attacking me. Well, protect yourself, Phoebe. How's it going, Carrie? Welcome on in, dude. Yeah, that's my birthday stream. It's gonna be on Saturday. I'm really looking forward to it. Got my poster frames, and they're the wrong size. I'm sorry, Luigi. Man, that sucks. Sorry to hear that, man. Did Sakurai have involvement with Kirby? I don't know. It's possible. Just a suspicion. Kirby's Dreamland was the first Kirby game. Oh, in 92? He's wide on the box art. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Wow. I don't know why, but I don't think of him as a Game Boy first character. Why are you white? Gosh dang it, Zug. <laughs> uh, all right, all things considered, I think that is a good list of works. All right, so good bio, good list of works. Hyper, have an amazing time. And please drop a comment when you come back. Why are you a gamer? You have work to do? All right, well drop a comment when you come back, Hyper. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, guys, here we go. <clears throat> Following in his dead father's footsteps as the young leader of the Star Fox team, Fox McCloud's piloting of the super high-performance combat ship Arwing for the, Ly the, Lylat the Lylatian system. The Lylatian system? Is it not just the Lylat system? I guess you can describe the system as Lylatian. Is still fresh in our memories. His one weakness may be his difficulty earning the trust of his teammates. Okay, that that gets that gets bonus points for that gets bonus points for a a mystery, a mystery element. That's how is that remotely ever hinted at in the games? His one weakness may be his difficulty earning the trust of his teammates. What? Like, I guess maybe if you shot down Slippy on the first level and blew him up, I guess I could see why you might not trust him very much. But I feel like character-wise, there's no evidence for that. We got Star Fox and Star Fox 64, and Donnie is right. No, Star Fox 2. It wasn't officially a game, but they could have thrown in there. There's an extra slot there, man. You're just, I destroyed my GameCube memory card? Oh, man. I'm sorry, baby. That sucks. Protect all your stuff, man. That is a low-tier bio. It really is. It really is. You're becoming more like your father. Falco is so distrusting, but Slippy and Peppy aren't that mistrustful. Yeah, right? And and the, the whole distrusting thing is a Falco thing. It's not a Fox thing. It's not like Fox is super untrustworthy and Slippy and Peppy are just naive, right? Like, why would you, why would anybody have a, a reason to doubt Fox? He has, he has a perfectly clear motivation. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, what? This is a funny list of works. Wait, what? It's just like his Pokedex entry. Pikachu, mouse Pokemon. And Pokemon is PKMN for some reason. He is one foot and four inches tall and weighs 13 pounds. When several of these Pokemon gather, their electricity could cause lightning storms. Pokedex excerpt. I feel like that, I feel like that was a really clever way to like talk about the Pokemon series. Now here's the question. Is Jigglypuff's gonna be the same? If Jigglypuff's is the same, they're gonna get bonus points for this stylistic choice. But if Jigglypuff is the same bio format as everybody else, I'm gonna need to talk to Sakurai because I feel like this turned from being clever into just being lazy. And then for Jigglypuff, they like did something else. Here's the other problem. Pokemon, Game Boy. Bruh, bruh. Why not say fire red and leaf green and, or not fire and leaf green, but red and green and blue. You can say red and blue in the US and red green in Japan only or whatever. Why why is it just Pokemon? Did they not think there'd be more Pokemon games down the down the line? I guess back then you could you could consider Pokemon the name of it and then like red version the subtitle. So I guess that's fair maybe. But that's like uh, you know what that's like? That's like saying, "Oh, I enjoy playing um, the Legend of Zelda Oracle 
The Legend of Zelda on Game Boy. The Legend of Zelda Oracle. It's like, well, Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Seasons. Oh, well, you know, they basically have the same title. But, but they're different games. Well, The Legend of Zelda Oracle. It's like, no. They're different versions. I feel like this Pikachu model is halfway between the modern Chonkachu and the, and the card. Huh. I never thought about it like that, Donnie. Yeah, proportionally... Proportionally, it does look a lot more like... I can't picture the new Pikachu right now, so I can't really think about that to the extent that I should. My dog is a schnoodle. Schnauzer and poodle. Well, that sounds like a cute combination, BB. Chungashu. Why did Pikachu have stats? Well, the other characters just have descriptions. Well, Salty Marks, I think... That's a, that's a way to show off the character. So the Pokedex expert is, uh, excerpt is a way to show off more about the character. So if it was done that way, that's good. But if it was done lazily, then... Oh, no. Remember what I said earlier? Nope. They do not get points for this anymore. The two Pokemon who have the same list of works have different formatted bios. Sakurai. The balloon Pokemon. Now, what's funny, they borrowed the PKMN from this. The balloon Pokemon with the big round eyes. It sings a soothing melody, sending those that hear it to sleep. When mad, it puffs itself up. As a balloon Pokemon, its body is light, weak, and easy to knock away. So I feel like... It has, like, Pokedex qualities to it. Maybe part of it's lifted from the Pokedex entry. But it doesn't have the name. It, it says balloon Pokemon, but it doesn't list it like this. It's like the height or the, the weight. It doesn't mention the Pokedex. Missed opportunity. Inconsistency. I want my money back for my, my Super Mario... My Super Smash Bros. 64 cartridge. This is outrageous. Alright, now remember, Samus is the is the toughest bounty hunter in the galaxy, okay? Just a little, little background information. Samus Aaron is the toughest bounty hunter in the galaxy. Meanwhile, Captain Falcon, the schmuck, who's not even a threat, a regular pilot in the Great Galactic Race F-Zero Grand Prix. Captain Falcon is skilled at collecting prize money. Much about his past remains hidden in shadow. But it's clear that many a villain hold a powerful grudge against him. Many a villain hold a powerful grudge against him. Guys, hidden. It's the, okay, you know what it is? It's the curse of being connected to Ness, all right? Everybody adjacent to Ness plus Luigi has something related to, to mystery or hidden, okay? Hidden in shadow, black shadow. Shadow the Hedgehog, foreshadowing? Bruh, Sakurai's a genius. He he left a little hint about Shadow being an assist trophy in the later games way back in 1999. That is universe brain. If he was going to personally go to Sakurai and ask him why Pikachu's bio is the way that it is, I want to. That's the first thing I would ask him. I would love to know. I'd love to conduct my own Sakurai interview. Okay, we have F-Zero and F-Zero X, which are the only two games Captain Falcon has been in. Good list. Definitive list, but they don't get a pass because there's only two games to list. Would you buy a Doberman? Probably not. They're too vicious and scary. Um, <clears throat> a regular pilot in the Galactic Race. He's skilled at collecting prize money. That that also is a really terrible description of Captain Falcon. It's like... That's not a good way to say that he's good at winning. It just says he's really good at collecting money when he wins. And that's what, that's what they meant to say. They meant to say... Captain Falcon's like a swindler. He's a, you know, he's a he's a trickster. He, he, he's just here to, 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 to steal money from people. But I don't think that's what they meant to say. I think they wanted to make it seem like he's, like, you know, good at racing well, you know? He's skilled at collecting prize money, you know. He grabs it before they can hand it out to the winner of the races. <laughs> exactly, Donnie. That's what that implies. That's what that implies. I don't think that really works. Now, here's another interesting idea. Maybe the localization teams weren't as robust as they are now, and they didn't like put as much towards it. 
So I wonder how consistent this is with the original translation. Maybe it's possible that in Japanese, you know, the way it was worded made a lot more sense and it being translated in English just didn't really translate very well. So give him benefit of the doubt. That's a possibility, right? A regular pilot, uh-huh. And again, I think what that meant to say was he's a regular, like he, he, he shows up very frequently is what they meant to say. Not, not like he's a subpar pilot, but like, He's a, he's a frequently attended member of the Grand Prix at F-Zero, so. He's a regular pilot. Nothing exceptional, to be honest, but he's really good with the hacking wire transfers to his bank accounts, lol. <laughs> oh, okay, Donnie. Um, I have a guy I know that makes some Smash 64 mods, and I want him to take both of the sentences you put together and make that the bio of Captain Falcon. It, maybe I can... Well, if Hi well, Hyper Nook's taking a break right now, but I'm sure he has connections. I could just ask him to get the guys at, at uh, Remix to, to change Captain Falcon's bio to that. I'm sure I'm sure they'd be down. If they wouldn't ask any questions, they'd just do it. I can still poke fun at how he gets one game after the list shown here. That's so true, Radzo. That's so sad. Man, an updated version of this list is literally F0, F0X, and F0GX. GameCube. That is so sad. All right, we have Ness, who only has one game. Like, that's whatever, I guess. We've got Star Fox, who's, or we got Fox, who's gonna get a lot more games in the future. A lot, like Star Fox Adventures, Star Fox Assault, Star Fox Zero. I think those are the only ones. Pokemon gets a bajillion more after this. Um, F-Zero gets one more. Star Fox Command. Thank you, Donnie. And 64 DS, if that counts as a separate game. The big F-Zero Extreme reveal is going to be great. Can't wait. Dude, I want a new F-Zero game so badly. I was playing GX, and I'm like, this game looks so polished. The game is so, like... Hmm, I want to I spend time more time with F-Zero GX, I think. All right, guys. My mouth is completely dry from reading this much, so I'm going to get some water... I'll be right back. Enjoy this musically appropriate, th this thematically appropriate music on the standby screen. I got some water, aka gamer fuel, so we're all we're all prepared. Chairs do be gaming. Um, all right. So that was a fun review of the data. All right. According to this data, we there have been. Nine total VS matches on this uh on this instance of Smash. Imagine actually playing the game, right? This was one of the games that I beat in 2019. It was games to beat by 2020. It was one of the ones that I beat. Couldn't be David. Yeah, melee is cool, but have you seen chairs? I only play Minecraft. Ugh, don't like that. Don't like that at all. All right, let's explore the options menu. We have, oh, what? Well, we are on stereo the whole time. We should be on mono for the purposes of my current setup. Screen adjust. Whoa. 
That's whack. There's more to be seen on the screen. Huh, look at that. Stereo in 1999? I think a lot of games at stereo. I think uh, Surround Sound was just coming out like in like 98, 97, like Dolby Digital stuff. I could be wrong about that. It might be a bit earlier than that, but I remember seeing Dolby Digital logos in like Star Fox 64 and stuff. Ooh, one more thing I want to point out. You guys are probably noticing the the, the kind of crazy funky style of the menu. Um, I actually emulated that for some of my earliest uh, overlays for, for Twitch. I will show you because um, overlays. Cool, it's working, guys. It's working. Let's share my monitor. We're gonna turn this off for a bit. All right, so check this out, guys. Look familiar? Oh gosh, it's not showing the whole thing because I'm, I'm in weird window mode. Okay, can you guys see it? Okay, it's a little dark, but hopefully you should be able to make it out. What's it for? Um, that was a template I was I used for my own. Uh, I basically like I use it as a template for some of the designs for my old Twitch stuff. Um, let me see if I can show you some examples. Melee, modern, old. Okay, that that is actually pretty modern. Um, oh, here here's the original overlay I made for Donnie. Oh, this is the new one actually. Yeah, this is the new one that Donnie uses right now, actually. I tried to make a Mario World one and it epically failed. Where's the Smash 64 one? This is the early parts of the Melee overlay that you're seeing now. That's really weird. I wonder what my Smash 64 ones are. This, this has something to do with it, but... Um, I have something else in my brain. Oh, offline screen. Okay, here we go. Check this out, guys. So, this is my, also my old avatar, too. You, some of you would re will remember it. Alright. So, this is what... Twitch has an offline screen, right? This is boring. When's Fortnite? <laughs> well, uh, sorry to break it to you, Donald, but I don't think we're going to Fortnite tonight. Even though that rhymed in a very epic way. So this was the old offline screen that I had on this channel. Fortnite for the 64? When did that come out, Donnie? I'd love to play it. But you see how I replaced, like... I replaced, like, the Smash Bros words with uh, my username at the time. And that was, like, a little... David was blonde? Blonde Bond. Just like James Bond was blonde. You guys see the similarity though? Actually, wait, let's back out. Okay, here we go. So see that design? And then I kind of mimicked it with, with this. See? I thought it was pretty cool. 1776? Donnie, you're implying that I'm as old as the United States. That's really mean. We'll have to have a conversation about that. I'll we'll have to have a conversation about that. Oh, here's some fun stuff. You guys want to see some early uh, panels and things for my Twitch channel? This stream is rated PG for pretty good. At least your layout is in HD. Yeah, Lolo. I created all those uh, symbols and stuff for, from scratch. These are my old, uh, my old panels. PG Streamers. Uh, but the original name for Family Friendly Live was gonna be PG Streamers. And I made this well before I made the team. I always wanted to make a Twitch team. You're pretty good. Thanks, Doug, so are you. So that was gonna be like the funny little play on words. But I ended up not going that direction, as you know. Oh, yeah. See? 
Are you a clean streamer? Join our community. Where did that lead? I don't remember like what that led to. Join our community? Was it like a was it like a Twitter account or PG streamers? Oh, sorry, Lolo. Wait, what? What did you even post? It doesn't even show me. So about the time, that's really annoying. Can't wait for the sequel to Fortnite to come out called Fortnite, where every match takes two weeks. Gosh dang it, Radzo. Yeah, I, I did too, Lolo. Sorry about that. Um, What were you posting a link to, my dude? Oh yeah, I had a series called Name My Pokemon, where basically Chad would just name all the Pokemon I caught. 46k points? Bruh, that's awesome, Lolo. You're super close to VIP. Here's some of the, more of the panels I used. Of course, there's a Melee one. Oh yeah, so back in the day, affiliates only had like, oh, FFL.com. I own familyfriendlylive.com. These were the original emotes you could get. Because affiliates couldn't get more than one, like one emote for each tier when it started. Um, and then down the line, they unlocked, unlocked more for them. But now, now, there's so many now, but back then there were not. So, there you go. There's a little piece of history. Kind of neat. Kind of neat. What else we got in here in this folder? These are some of the more modern ones that I made that actually I, I still like. These are good. Commands. When I used to have Nightbot, which was pretty recently. Which is fine because I just realized FFL.com is owned by, my ba by a bank? Huh. Yeah, three-letter domain names are expensive i'm three out of 50 of the way there i need to stop sp spending it on dumb things <laughs> radzo <laughs> uh, you have 3k points so that's still a lot of points oh yeah this is when I, I was experimenting with like a melee looking one at that size before i changed my new one what is that oh that's when i was trying to decide what emote to use I was trying to use that affiliate link for Streamlabs OBS. Ooh, look at this. These are more like the panels I have now. Oh yeah, this is the first time I tried the new style. Yeah. This is so cool to look at. Then these are the melee ones. Yeah. Wow. These are all the promo images I made. Oh, 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 you know what? You'll recognize this one, Zug. Do you remember this one? I would like Photoshop my own face onto like things that I was gonna be playing. You'll keep on streaming, you'll look back at this layout and we'll describe it as a little piece of history. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's actually probably true. Even though I like to think that my current overlay is the definitive one. Oh, what? It booted me to the start screen. I don't know how to do that over time. Those banners aren't that old. I was already here when those were around. Gotcha. Yeah, probably not that old. Lull to you. Metal Gear, Metal Gear, Metal Gear, Metal Gear. You did the melee graphics, transitions, and etc. Correct? Um, it depends on which melee things you're talking about, Zug. The transitions? You mean like the stinger transition? That was... I, I commissioned somebody on Fiverr for that, and it looks freaking awesome. But like the credits and the and the standby screen and all that, I did all that. Uh, isn't it funny how this is the week where the ninth generation consoles are launching and my most anticipated thing of the week is the hecking Game & Watch? Is that coming out this week? I want one of those too. Hey, it's Christy. Welcome. How are you? We were looking through really old stream stuff together. Good to have you here, Christy. Here's when I photoshop myself on uh, my main in Overwatch. Ah, uh, neat, because I need a good stream overlay. Nice. Um, hmm. I wonder what you're, what, what kind of overlay are you going for, Zug? How's it going, Potato Power? I said hey and left. Oh, no worries, Potato. Good to have you back. <laughs> good to have you back. 
David V. Farah, exactly. Yep, David V. Farah. Farah's my main in Overwatch. Like the only character I can play. Oh, here's the Stardew Valley or the Stardew Valley promo video. We're gonna actually, you know what? We're gonna temporarily go to this this scene. So I, for a while, I did, I did Stardew Valley with subscribers. And this is my little promo for Smash Ultimate. I would post this on Twitter for a bit when I used to tweet, like, when I was live all the time. How old is Stardew Valley? Good question. I don't know. Good question. It's coming out this Friday. Oh, no pre-orders. What? Bruh. Friday. All right, I'm gonna set myself a, an alarm to grab it. 11 a.m. Actually, no, I'll do 10:30 a.m. Come on, dragon. All right, I've got buy game and watch on my calendar. To remind me. Thanks, Luigi. One well, that reminds me of yours, but its theme is based on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. I know Josh wants to do that too, musical Josh. I think he found like a cool green screen thing. You should talk to him about that. You drove six hours with your dad today to visit Sarah? Wow. So Christy, was that three hours both ways or was that six hours both ways? Because that's a lot of driving either way. Anyway you slice it, but one is a lot more than the other. Oh, here are the oh here's this is fun. Here are the here are the twenty games I beat by uh, twenty twenty. In in twenty nineteen. Coming in here at default dance. <laughs> How's it going, Jade? <laughs> yep, that was redeemed by Dragon Master. Well, it depends full release or first release. Yeah, good question, Donnie. It depends a little because they've updated they've updated the game a few times, like quite a number of times I think, with new content. No problemo. You remember those streams? Yeah, Potato? Yeah, you are part of them. It was awesome. Six hours there and six hours back? Holy cow, Christy. That's crazy. That is crazy, Christy. Please get some rest, my friend. I never finished Metal Gear Solid 5. No, Zug. But, um... But I have been playing more of it lately and really enjoying it again. So... Beating two, two, 2021 games in 2021 when? Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to opt out of that, Microsoft. Sorry. Sorry, Microsoft. But if there's a B by it, it means that I beat the game. If there's a C by it, it means I completed the game. So it's actually the first time I completed Toy Story 2. I completed Pikmin. That was really fun. And Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. And then I, I played um, a bonus... A 21st game up here called uh what was it called again Candleman? it was a, a game that risco gifted to me so yeah good stuff age of calamity stream on release day mm, when is release day probably not Slug, but I'm, I'm still open to it depends on when it, when it when it's coming out can't wait for david to play animal crossing new horizons 2 in 2021 gosh dang it they better not release another one that early David, it's close to my birthday, and I'm legit in shock. Are, is that right? When's your birthday, Jade? Mm-hmm. And Candleman was a fun little game. I'm glad that I'm very thankful that Risco gifted it to me. Watching you struggle at Shovel Knight was funny as heck. <laughs> Next Friday on the 20th. Oh, huh. Friday on the 20th. I feel like I have plans that day. I might be hanging out with Space Chicken, actually. Just a little bit, but it's worth it. I didn't have to request any time off of work to see Sarah. Oh, what? Wow, that's awesome. Was it like a was it like a lull in your work schedule, so you took advantage of it? That's awesome, Christy. Doesn't want to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't have to say if you don't want to. Mine's on the 14th. It's coming up very quickly, and I'm very excited about it. Very excited about my birthday. Oh, yeah, here's... Uh... Here's the Minecraft character that Alex made me. The power made this himself. 
He had me holding a 69 freaking notifications Discord icon and a Jones Soda. Pretty iconic, honestly. Pretty iconic, I'd say. Yeah, David V. Craft. So that was when I did that for a bit. Um, here's when I did my my milkshake stream with my dad. That was fun. He was he was real, but I was just cartoon David. Um, oh, here's the Banjo Kazooie one with Carl. We did we did two. We did we did two of them. Oh no, I just made two versions of it for different time zones. Christy is a top tier mod. So yesterday I learned that those who own the Kirby, Kirby Fighters 2 demo can play online with the people who own the full game. What? Are you serious, Potato? That's actually crazy. I didn't know that. Huh. Classic Alex, right, Zug? <laughs> Classic. And your dad looks so professional. He is professional when he wants to be. The Fighting Polygon Team. How's it going, Grant? Good to see you, man. Yeah, we were, we were looking at all the bios for Smash 64 characters, and then I got distracted because I'm not showing all stream stuff. Hey, Annie, what's That's up? That's a different angle. It is a different angle because I'm using a different device to play on right now, actually. Knowing Nintendo, we're probably going to get a Switch port of Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. If that does happen, you better suffer with it, Essie. I don't think, I don't think, uh, I don't think that'll happen, Luigi. <laughs> but if it does, I could see myself suffering with Esther playing it, if you'd like. We need the much anticipated sequel to the milkshake stream. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, kitchen streams are kind of a pain for me. Like, m more than you would think. It it's a pain to set it up, unfortunately. I wish it was a bit easier. Or I could buy another computer and have a permanent streaming setup out there. One of my favorite things Silly DJ has said to me was, what's with you and polygons? <laughs> Saying I want a Smash clone with all the characters who play the fighting polygon team like archetypes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that he said that. That does that is really funny. But you said that before, Grant, and I think that'd be that would be really fun. What I like about it is the fighting polygon team is very stylistic. And I, I've always liked the fighting polygon team too. And the and also the wire the wireframe fighters in melee. So having a game where you're like you're just them is actually a cool idea. Not my state of mind. It's Carl! Whoa! Is that just his face or is he here? I think it's just his face. Um, let's say this. It's December something. Okay, it's December. Gotcha. Okay, it's coming up then. Very nice. Uh, what broke? What broke, Jade? So that's... Oh, oh, Carl obviously is on the screen. That's what you guys are talking about. I feel a little slow. Here's when I did my financial well-being stream. This is a, a, P, a transparent PNG of me walking in a, in a suit. Um, this dope. I don't know why I did that. Oh, here here's the uh, N64 Nostalgia Hour. When I, remember Luigi when I did your birthday stream? We did uh, the Super Luigi 64 mod. Do you remember that one? That's why I like it. It's a way... It's way too stylistically get away with copying the move set and possibly even frame data and have it look good or at least a, a, poor, knock, a poor knockoff. Yeah, I mean, I guess... I, yeah, I guess that is technically... Yeah. Yeah, prob you probably couldn't get away with that, unfortunately. My grades. Failure. <laughs> nice, Jade. Business David, that's me. I wish I could have been around for that stream. The, the financial well-being one, Lolo? Please send me that transparent PNG of you walking. No, Grant. No. I'm too afraid. This dope. I just realized that Mr. Game & Watch shaded black on the challenger approaching screen looks literally no different than normal Mr. Game & Watch. <laughs> no, I think he does, Luigi, because I think Mr. Game & Watch has the black outline, whereas when he's just the, the silhouette, it's all black instead of the white outline. I absolutely loved the birthday stream. Dude, I'm glad you loved it. That was all for you, man. Why do you want it, Jade? Why do you want it? Then we have Diddy Kong Racing. Then we had Mario Kart 64. Okay. Uh, I guess that's most of them. Video dump? What's in here? I don't know. Look, that's, that's too much work to go through. 
What's resources? Oh yeah, I, I grabbed the uh, the melee tribute to Smash Bros. Ultimate. I thought that was so cool. They like they kind of modernized the look a little bit. Like how cool would it be to like re like it's like the modern iteration of melee. It looks so cool. Do you guys remember when, when they tweeted that? When they posted this on like uh they didn't tweet oh, they tweeted it and they posted it on like the update stuff or whatever. Save me, David. Considering pre-ordering a Smashbox and our box now. How much do how much do they cost? So I can edit it in Pixlr. What are you gonna edit about it, Jade? <laughs> Look at that Pokemon card, Pichu. They actually kind of recreated the poses too, which I thought was cool. Oh man, your old Xbox avatar. When Nintendo actually acknowledged Melee crazy, right? They've done it twice recently. They did it then, and they did it um, for the Fire Emblem thing with the, like the little video in the beginning. Oh, I had an idea. Uh, we get your dad to come on a stream. Viewers will ask him questions related to video games. Before having the chance to do any research, he will answer those questions. That's a really good idea, Potato. I like that a lot. That's a really good idea. Mm. $200 for the box? That is very expensive. Why is it so much, dude? That's crazy. When Nintendo actually acknowledged Melee, the Melee event in Ultimate happened the days before I got Ultimate. I was big sad. Oh, is that right? Nothing bad, just extra practice because I'm just using random photos online and I'm tired of using those. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know how you want the file. I was going to upload it on Discord, but I don't think you're on Discord, right? Also, I didn't notice until literally yesterday that the unlocked portraits on the CSS and Melee were actually behind and not just lower. Yeah, actually, I want to show you something, Grant, related to that, that you might find pretty cool. Um, I'm going to temporarily mute... Hmm, how am I going to do this? Uh, actually, no, I'll, I'll, I'll let it chill for a bit. So, okay, so I want to show you something, Grant. So here is what the original behavior was supposed to be in Melee for the CSS. You ready? Oh, wait, did I? Wait, hold on. No, it doesn't matter. Oops. Oh wait, this is my partially never mind. Hold on. Sorry. <laughs> I'm being a dork. I gotta do netplay community settings for a sec. With no SD card. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is cool, Grant. Watch carefully. Watch the screen carefully. Ready? See that sliding effect? That was the original um, intention for it. Yeah. So that's why they're actually behind like that. Because that's, th that's the way that they were explaining that they were clones. No, it wasn't a glitch stopping it. They patched it out last second. But there's remnants of it left in the code. So you can enable it. Um, but they, they just got rid of it last second basically I don't yeah I don't know either I think it's kind of cool so like they've always had the clone like or what do they call it uh what do they what do they name it again like the echo fighters or whatever they've always had that in mind from since a long time ago so I thought that was pretty neat are those the HD icons on the CSP oh yeah I've got um I've got some like silly beta HD stuff that's not final, but I will be showing more of that progress on the Saturday stream. I have a bunch of stuff to show people, actually. Not a bunch. I have some stuff to show people on Saturday related to that, so. <clears throat> Nothing bad. It's novelty hardware. Things are cheaper when they are manufactured in extreme bulk. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. That makes sense. It's no Digimon Rumble Arena 2, but hey, don't know what that means really. Are you going to show off more of the stuff JD helped work with? 
No, because JD and I are not working together. We're working on separate projects. Mine's going to be a bit more flexible. Um, so we can do, like, lots of different kinds of poses. We have a special thing where, like, basically a, a, a certain special way that we're doing things. My favorite really bad platform fighter. Yeah, Zug, it's good. It's not going to be, like, cosmetic standardization project. It's not going to be, like, open to the community and stuff. But it will have the flexibility for us, hopefully... To make a lots of different, a lot of different kind of poses for the characters, and uh, yeah, and so hopefully we can start generating like tons of assets for creators. Is what I'm hoping. So, David, what's your favorite game besides Melee? That's a good question. Mario 64 comes to mind. Ocarina of Time comes to mind. Majora's Mask comes to mind. Pokemon Fire Red come to mind. Comes to mind. Um. So my cat, oh, How about you, Luigi? What's one of your favorite games? Has a multi-tier evolution system, and you upgrading in a match case, and in, in a match often makes you worse off than the lowest level character. Oh, really? That sounds terrible. I was worried for a second because I really thought you were gonna get a DMCA for. For what? My favorite really bad platform fighter. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, this is me taking screenshots of a completely blank stage selection screen. I don't know why I did that. Oh, this is a cool GIF. I found this online somewhere randomly. And I wanted to incorporate it in something, but I never figured out where to incorporate it. And here's the, um, here's a really cool, it's got the Japanese style box art with the, the U.S. logo. I really like that. Like custom CSS, what's this? Is it custom? Oh, I see, it's got a transparent background. Okay. And actually, Anthony helped me make these, um, the, the, the things along the bottom that got to have the labels those used to look different by the way i'm gonna move this webcam back over here so i can face you guys actually you know what i'll do while i look at chat i'll just look at i'll look at that i'll look, I'll look that way that's probably better uh oh their feet are shaking as well the melee stuff you posted on twitter months ago the exact content I can't remember. Yeah, I, I retweeted. Um, the, the project I'm working on is called the Melee HD Asset Library. It's a bit different from what other folks are working on. I have a small team working on it right now. Uh, it's horribly balanced, and you're locked into moves sometimes for like five seconds. That sounds so bad, dude. The JP Box is better than the US Box? I think so too. I really love the, I really, wait, I love really bad early 2000s, really bad early 2000s platform fighters. There's a lot of them after the popularity of Melee. Are there really? I was not aware of those. You feeling cozy, Esther? So these are some, uh, they're, they're meant to mimic the top of Melee's like menu and Anthony made those for me for, for something. Yeah, in Steam, this is what I use. This is the, the Steam. Actually, let's open Steam. I'll show you it. Went to launch Melee. Um, basically, it launches Slippy from Steam. And it uses, like, the Melee logo as an icon. So, like, if I go down to recent games, there's Melee. It's got its own custom background artwork and stuff and I'm using the uh, the upscaled version of the image so it looks really clean and hitting play just launches slippy basically so yeah pretty cool my favorite games I'd have to say I don't have much of a definitive favorite but my multiple favorites are Minecraft Mario Maker 2 Mario Bros Wii Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 3D World Super Mario Odyssey 
Smash Bros. Ultimate, and the list goes on. You really like Mario. I'm not too surprised by your answers, though, Luigi. You got some good lists there. Cartoon Network, Fun Time Explosion. Is another good, bad one. <laughs> really? Me and three friends split the cost of it because we knew it would be really bad and it delivered. You played Captain Planet on that though, so there's that. Oh gosh, that's really funny. How bad was it? Oh yes, I forgot who it was. Dan Daniel Bernal. He made these really cool, these really cool pixel art like melee stuff. He, he did the character selection screen. He did some like portraits. Look at this. Isn't this so cool? I want to turn these into like, uh, into wallpaper engine stuff. Isn't that so cool? I want to rewatch a show I watched as a kid, so I'm going to head out and binge what watch it if possible. I might watch multiple from my childhood just for the memories. All right, have a good night, Jade. Thanks for hanging out here. It was good to have you here and have you chatting with us. And uh, enjoy binging whatever you're going to watch. They obviously pitched it as a multiverse story-driven game because they try to do subspace emissary and oh gosh, do they really? That sounds so bad. Oh, whatever happened to that melee game that used a flash called Melee Light? Oh yeah, it wasn't Flash. It was HTML5, I think. I don't know what happened to Melee Light. Look at this though. It's so cool. Aw, oh, thanks, Jade. I appreciate that. I mean, this is beautiful pixel artwork. It's it's just gorgeous. There's some recolors that he made. And here's some of the menu assets. And I mean, he, he went to all this trouble to make them. And I'm like, dude. I think I even messaged him about using them. I forgot what he said. Oh gosh, imagine trying to animate like a transforming stage. Imagine playing PlayStation All-Stars in 2020. I'm sure someone's doing it. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh yeah, we have a an example of how the a stage select screen might look for competitive. That's pretty cool. And we got Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's story, I mean. We got the little flying little flying shy guys. It's not entirely accurate, obviously, because it doesn't have the ramp like here and here. They go down, but still really, really, really cool. I completely forgot what Melee Light was a thing. Yeah. So, yeah, I want to do something with those eventually. But, and I guess I have the individual character icons here. I think this is on like their max resolution. This is at 100%. So. And I'm sure you could use nearest neighbor and blow it up even more and retain, retain the look. And the sharpness. Here's some, uh, here's the beta artwork for, uh, or the early artwork, the promo artwork for Melee. That's just literally a screenshot, it looks like. <laughs> I'm Mario getting burned by Bowser. We're starting to get too much into Saturday stuff though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna back out of that. What's this? Oh yeah, here's some of the the legacy um, Twitch overlays I made. Very melee inspired. So this is for Smash Four. Smash Four. This is for melee, or this is for PM. Wait, I thought I had multiple sizes for PM and melee, but maybe I, maybe I don't. Hmm. Lazy Davy, play the game. Marth has such a chilling stare. Nix the shield. Oh yeah, I know Nix the shield. Has a Go Dot Smash demo. It's pretty close to it. Probably said that wrong. The latest Windows update makes every Microsoft Edge tab count as a program instance. So every time I alt tab to change Windows, I gotta go through however many tabs I've opened at that time? That sucks, Lolo. I wonder why they chose to do it that way. How weird. Hmm. Really strange. 
Yeah, you're talking about Remix, right? I may have tried it. I don't quite remember. Um, I don't quite remember if I played it or not, Grant. I think I did. Remember the overlays used? The overlays used for friendlies on your Smash Bros. Legacy channel years back in like 2014. Smash Bros. Legacy didn't exist as like what it was. It existed in 2014, but it was just the Tumblr blog. It, it didn't do modding stuff. Well, actually, no, it did. It, the first mods were in 2014. I take that back. Hmm. Maybe it, in 2013 is when it started as a Tumblr blog. And then something like that. Okay, let's turn off the uh, the monitor. Go back to the the game. So we're gonna go through adventure mode together. Actually, before we do that, we're gonna review the opening video to Smash 64 because it is glorious. And if you have not seen it before, you should be checking it out. It's fantastic. Okay, enjoy, gamers. The whole thing with Smash, as Zachary said, it's like, it's kind of like an allegory for kids playing with toys, basically. For 2015? All right, post in general, Zach. I love to see it. And then look, the toys are getting up on their own, and they're fighting while the, the kid's away. When it showed Pikachu, I'd like... Look. It shows Pikachu later on a Pokeball, and someone's walking by. I'm like, wow, those legs look realistic. Like, watch right now. Whoa, look how realistic that walk, that person walking was. So the inside of Great Fox. So cool. Polygon. Good stuff. We got the how to play video too. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I said we were going to play more of the game. But there is one more thing that I thought of that I want to show you guys from my from my Smasher David overlay thing that I worked on. Um, let me see if I can find it. Because it's so cool. It's related to what you just saw too. Oh, what? It's not showing up weird mm. let's see where would it live uh, um stream archive let's try that that's like jimmy neutron-esque legs <laughs> how can master hand pick his nose gosh dang it grant I wish someone besides ID Software would open source their games after X amount of years. Think how nice some of these mod communities would have it. ID Software? I I'm not familiar with ID Software. That does that. That field scene reminds me so much of the NES game. That it seems like it has to be a reference. Huh. The field scene of... Like... Of just Mario and Kirby, you mean? All right, so I think I found it. I think I found it. View. Okay, let's share the screen. Okay. Okay, I think I found it. Okay, guys, ready? I think this is what I want to show you. Yeah, this was the old video for my uh, my stream. When it started, this would play, and the the uh, the sound that you're hearing there was like was the only unused fanfare in Smash 64. 
Bruh. Why is it doing that? DLC, stop being dumb, please. But yeah, you get the idea. It's like, it's basically mimicking the opening to that. I made that. Nice fire. Yeah, dude, that was my old name. And Smash Bros. Legacy did exist in 2014 because of the demo 2. Point, yeah, point 0.2. It did. I was in college. I was messing around with the game back, back then. So, yeah, you're right. You're totally right. Smasher David. Oh, sound went out. Might just be me. Oh, you muted the tab. <laughs> gotcha. ID Software was the guys who did Doom and Quake. Oh, and they released their source code? That's cool. Good, good for them. Good for them. All right. So I just wanted to show you guys that because I thought it was a fun little reference back in my early streaming days. So here's the one player of Super Smash Brothers. And I'm gonna play as Mario, because he always plays Mario. There's so many Doom runs on my toaster. Oh, gotcha. Can we use this for N64 Nostalgia Hour? Oh, like that is an opening, Luigi? I like that. Versus Link. So one player mode in Smash 64 was a predetermined list of adversaries you would fight. And then you would, there'd be like a, a few special modes like, um, it would be break the targets, board the platforms, race to the finish, and then master hand. Honestly, pretty fun. Pretty fun single player. And Mario was my main in this game. I played him all the time. Mario, ah, I see your culture, David. I made Mario in 64, I still do. Wait, you're playing on very easy? No, I'm playing on playing on normal. Right? Wait a second. I thought I changed it to normal. Yeah, I'm playing on a CRT. Yeah. No, but actually, Grant, this looks a lot better. I know, the hit stun in 64 is awesome. Why can't I reset? Oh, there we go. Um, Amnesia the Dark Descent just did, I think, too. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Yeah, so, Grant, I'll show you what I'm running it on. On a computer CRT. Oh, sorry, the green screen's freaking everything out, but... That's the, uh, it's a computer CRT, and there's my Wii. And I'm actually using a pretty crazy, like, connection of cables to get it to work. Um, wait, what? Why is the, the camera angle all weird now? Um, yeah. Davey, your ca your cartridge is haunted. Smash.exe, no! It's gonna take over the room! Honestly, I've never played Break the Targets before. Bruh. Break the targets is a good time. All right. I was on normal, Zach. I wasn't on very easy. Fine. I'll play on hard. Just to spice things up a bit. Um, <clears throat> I posted a photo of it, actually, just on, on, on Reddit and on Twitter. So if you want to see a better photo of it, Grant, just go on my Twitter. You can use the socials command to get a quick link if you need to. Hit stun is crazy in this game. Look, it's Hitmon Lee. It's Hitmon Lee. He's just a little PNG. <laughs> I honestly have no memory of options having that weird font. Really? The bottom of the CSS, yeah. Smash 64 had a pretty wild, like, a wild look. Also, do you see special bonus? The special bonus text? They retained that special bonus text for Smash Melee, too. You're being a gamer by using L cancels, right? Z cancels, exactly, Pixel! They're called Z cancels in Smash 64. Yep. 
How are you, Tony? Welcome on in, dude. Into it. Oh, he didn't die though. Up he kills him instantly. Here, you can just heal all your health. I love playing as Mario in this game. He's awesome. That's so cool. Up, up on the D-pad works as taunt. The Virtual Console version of Smash is actually really nice. It's got some really cool stuff in it. Just from a controls perspective. I can't believe they had that had fonts back then. <laughs> we didn't even invent the tilde yet. Stop, Grant. Oh, hey, Pixie Wavy, saying hi to Davy Wavy. Is, is is Pixie Wavy is your name for him? Doing swell, being an epic gamer, and doing Pokemon Go raids with amigos. Oh, that's fun. Are you doing them in person or is it like are you doing them virtually somehow? All right, so there's one thing that Donnie and I would always do on this level when you're we playing together. We would um, run to this part of the ship. We would try to run in and go and go inside. But of course, there's a wall there, so you can't actually walk inside. But we're like, oh, that's so cool. I want to go inside the ship. But of course, you couldn't. Hey, JS Granty, just saying hi to Pixie Wavy, who said hi to Davy Wavy in person. And then they have remote raid passes now, so you can do those virtual raids. Oh, cool. That's very considerate. Thank you, Niantic. Very cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness. I love Mario in this game. He's so good. I just got him back to safety. Dang, look at him shining. Look at him shining. I feel like grabs and throws are really strong in 64 too. Here's a list of all Luigi games, because why not? Luigi's Hammer Toss, an obscure game released in 1990 based on Mario Bros. 2. Released on something called a... A Nelsonic Game Watch. Mario is Missing. Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon Arcade. Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Ghost Mansion, a mini game in Nintendo Land. That's right. Uh, Luigi Bros, a mini game in Super Mario 3D World. New Super Luigi U. Dr. Luigi. Super Luigi Bros from NES Remix 2. And Luigi's Mansion 3DS. And lastly, Luigi's Mansion 3. Very nice list, Luigi. Very nice list. Look off like that. Time to, time for the face mask. Stop, Grant. Why would you play Smash 64 instead of playing Melee 64? Shake my head. Because sometimes you got to go back to the classics. All right, when you get to board the platforms, I want you guys to listen very carefully to how he says board the platforms. Whoops. Also, I love the fast falling in, Sm in Smash 64. It was really, it was very fast, fast falling. Complete. I want to insane asylum David and give him a Hannibal Lecter mask. What? Friend, what on earth? Mario Brothers. Puff's my ally. Three, 
What a great quote, Luigi. Mario, Wario and Luigi, the famous Mario brothers. Yeah, that's his Mario outfit, isn't it? It's funny, before you unlock Luigi, you'd fight him here too. I believe. Oh, my friend died. His up, he's really good. Mine's like okay. L is real after all. Larry is on Princess Peach's castle and Mario 64. I would always hear, board the platforms. All right, I want you to listen to it again when it comes up, Tony, okay? Sakurai has been neglecting Waluigi from the very start. Tario? That's just tall Mario. That's why there's a, t a T on his hat. <laughs> Gosh, dang it, JS Grant. Hey, turtle user, how are you? Welcome on in. We're playing some Smash 64. Three, two, one, so here's a fun go. thing. You can you can prompt Pokemon to come out of here by running up to this thing. And he'll start burning you. Her if you guys know Harris Heller, his uh raid alert is a is a follow alert, his sub alert? Sub alert, I think. Is Charmander doing that? That's the voice clip that he that it's from. I love Mario's back air in this game. Danny, thanks for the 145 bits. Holy snap, that's a lot of bits. Thank you. Ultimate isn't the ultimate Smash Bros. experience. If it was, Hashimiro Samurai would have created an option to play with each, of each game's physics. That's an amazing idea. But at the same time, Pixel, imagine having to code that. I know you're, I know you're capping, but... Imagine having to like code for that. That would be a nightmare. To like make sure there aren't game breaking stuff all the time. Talking about you always trying to run into F Star Fox ship. I would always try to throw people into the Pokemon door. Really? That's awesome. I love that. <laughs> Giant Donkey Kong. Saying Tario just brought me back to the age where I played random Mario Flash games constantly. One of them being a Tetris X Mar Super Mario Bros. hybrid called Tuper Tario Trolls. The nostalgia is real. It would be super unbalanced, but so is lightning mode and melee. <laughs> it does sound like a nightmare to make, though. Oh, yeah, and, and Tuper Tario Trolls was really heckin' good. By the way, Pixel, on my birthday stream, I have a fun secret about lightning melee that uh, I will reveal. And you maybe already know it, but I don't want to give it away until my birthday stream. So, that's a little plug for my upcoming birthday stream. damage. Throw on a sword at him, we'll do it. La 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 la. It'd be easy to edit gravity. The engine already supports it as referenced by certain items like bunny ears and metal block. The gravity part, sure, but like hit stun and knockback and all that. I guess you could do that in Legacy TE slash Project Plus, so maybe it isn't that unfeasible. I think I know, but I know say. Really, Pixel? Okay. Birthday stream is Pog. Yeah, dude. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a really fun one. As in changing the weight in a given match. Right, that's true. He was finally revealing his 19-year-old secrets. It's something I didn't know until the other day, actually. Did you guys hear that? 
I was talking, unfortunately, but Carl Dacius is convinced. He says, board on the platforms, instead of board the platforms. And I can hear it. I can't hear board on the platforms, even though I know it's board the platforms. But he was so convinced it was board on the platforms, which cracks me up. They totally do hear it. Board the platforms needs to come back. I love board the platforms. Thin platform boy. There we go. Complete! I'm sure it's possible and even easy if you have the engine source. Like you said, it'd be hard to balance for. Yeah, yeah, I agree. But I think it'd be a party mode more than anything. A party mode that like the competitive community would like exploit to like make it the new competitive standard. The Kirby team. Yeah, so for this, if you unlock all the characters, um, you see every single transport transformation you can get. Look how quickly you could grab and throw in this game. like to board the platforms and race to the finish more than break the targets, right? I agree, Grant. Those are my two favorite ones, too. Like, breaking the targets is okay, but I definitely like board the platforms the best. And race to the finish was a fun one, too. Although, I think I like break the targets more than race to the finish. And race to the finish was preserved in Melee. In fact, I think it was a lot cooler in Melee. They just don't have board the platforms in Melee, unfortunately. And now the, the break the targets aren't even customized for the characters anymore, which is really kind of lame. Ever since Brawl, they kind of ruined that, to be honest. Oh, there he goes. I'm surprised she died that way. So Super Mario Mario 64 DS is, in my opinion, the definitive version of Mario 64? No, that's not true, Luigi. Also, I'm going to really quickly go ahead and add that to the list of my favorite games. Uh, Mario 64 DS is is not... I do not think that's the definitive version, my dude. I got to disagree with you hard there, my friend. No fighting polygon team being dumb, dumb boys in Melee, though? Yeah, that's true. But, I mean, wireframes are pretty close. Board the Plast and targets are goaded. But that was a weird announcer call. Metal Mario. Um, no. Uh, board the plats and targets are goaded. I like board the platforms a lot. My favorite version of them. When I was a kid, I always thought that was part of the music that I played here. But it's just him walking, the sound of him walking. It sounds so funny. It doesn't sound like a metal flat clanking sound or anything. The sword does so much damage, dude. Oh god, that killed me. I didn't even DI that. I was not happy to start off with Yoshi and Mario DS, right? I'm playing Super Mario Super DS, not Super Yoshi DS. It was so weird. There's a run button and stuff. 
it, 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 that game's kind of a mess, I'm not gonna lie. La -la -la. I have no memory of Metal Mario sounding like that. It's a it's a lightsaber, young Anakin. Gosh dang it, Grant. It's a beam sword, my dude. Um Yeah, M Metal Mario's walking sound sounds like that. It's actually crazy. Here's race to the finish. There's like a random like map background image on the bottom and top part of the screen. As long as you fast fell fast enough there, they would never follow you. You could always just jump over these two. And run away from these guys. They would never run after you for some reason. You could always outrun them. That was the most fight like they ever put up. And then you have still like 30 seconds left on the clock. You can just walk over there. Mario trips and falls and slices his cor his cornea on the edge of Polygon Pikachu's tail. Gosh dang it, Grant. Here's your favorite part of the game right here. Start the music, boys. It's just like a throw to a kill. Him twice. Ooh, feisty link. Please, please. Yes. All health restored. Let's go. Freaking heart container, dude. So, maximum tomatoes heal 100 damage, and heart containers do all your damage. It doesn't matter if you have over 100 or not. It's, it's completely overpowered. It's crazy. funny official mario wiki has to differ metal mario 64 and metal mario from the main line and spin-offs wait what metal mario 64 what do you mean zug dk was holding on the ledge and decided to fast fall sd really <laughs> the puff and yoshi polygons are probably the worst most satisfying sound is mario's down air Huh. They're like the one. I like that sound too. Smash 64, let's go. Hey, Dingo. Yeah, we're playing Smash 64 today. And Kirby's. Maybe it's Kirby, can't tell. The accordion. Yeah, that's... I think that's Kirby. I think that's Kirby. He doesn't say his own name. He doesn't say Master Hand. He just says nothing. Like a machine gun? It totally does. That does sound really cool. I agree, Tony. So that just for you. dodging in the same game, David. Uh-oh. 
back air did it. Get four stocked, Master Hand. Or Mr. Hand. <laughs> You're making me want to play Smash again. Wow, Sakurai couldn't even give Kirby the round shape. Too humble. Gosh dang it, Grant. Play Smash then, dude. They must really hate Glover over at Nintendo. Hard and clear. Speed King. I might have some nostalgia for it, but I've been playing 64 DS for a while recently with my without my rose tinted nostalgia glasses, so my judgment isn't very clouded. First of all, I agree that D-pad controls cripple the experience a bit. I think they cripple it a lot. Starting off with Yoshi's a bit weird, and the run button makes things a bit wonky occasionally, and Bomb on Battlefield looks a bit too desaturated for my liking, but let's not forget the 64 did right. It added 30 new stars. It added three new characters, one of which was the god Luigi. They revamped the graphics. They added some mini games obtained by catching tons of rabbits, which are a fun side quest and a fun little multiplayer competition mode. Huh. I, I think I'd be inclined to agree with you more. But I think taking away, like, taking away the controls and, like, really ne neutering them like that is kind of ruining the experience of Smash of uh, Mario 64, in my opinion. Like, if they didn't do that and they didn't do the run button silliness, I think you're right, but I can't agree just because the new characters like are kind of weird, honestly. Um, and uh, the, the, the new stars is great, but that's basically it. Oh, your fingies. That's right. Be careful of your fingies or play with play with your Glover gloves. You stop playing unranked. That's what's killing me. Gotcha. How's it going, Mikey Gamer? Welcome on in. Adding the characters was a huge drawback in my experience. It made the experience kind of fragmented. Right, I agree with that. Need these fam-friendly gorals and their girly fingies? Hello, Insane Asylum. Um, to verses. Also, never got this creepy music at the end, right? It is very strange. It's very ominous. Yeah, I agree. Aw, oh, it's a continuation of the opening. It was sad because the controls harmed it even when playing on the Wii U. Yeah, gotcha, Donnie. I was wondering how it was on the Wii U. It's gotta still be better than the DS, though. The director was Masahiro Sakurai. Motion coaching Kirby original design. All HAL Laboratory, folks. Chief designer was... I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. Wow. That's a lot of opening effect design. We have that person to thank. Sound composer. Good job making the music. Voice actors, Charles Martinet. Pikachu voice, Falcon voice. Narrator voice, Jeff Manning. Koji Kondo. Made the original soundtrack. Yoshi original design. Wow, that's cool. Pokemon CM source modeling chief. Bill Trinan, localization. So Bill Trinan did a lot of this localization. Uh, motion capture. Super Metroid Club. U.S. Pokemon Voices Four Kids Productions. Oh, that's funny. So it was Four Kids Productions, but I thought it was. Huh. Executive producer, Nintendo Company. Whoa, what the heck is that? That was a weird credit. Congratulations! Congratulations! I died on Rainbow Cruise a lot from having to run forward to turn away. Wow, that sucks. <clears throat> I mean, kind of, but it still operates in the digital input limitations, right? Yeah, that's really frustrating. Sakurai is a legend. He really is, Dingo. I agree. Wonder what all these people are up to today, right? I think about that a lot. You know what's funny is the uh, the guy who created Conquer the Squirrel, Chris Seaver, he and voiced Conquer the Squirrel. He also voiced um, a lot of the Star Fox cast in Melee. So I think he voiced Peppy and Slippy. I don't know about Falco, but I'm pretty sure he voiced Peppy and Slippy in Melee, which is pretty funny. I feel pretty old too, Grant. But isn't Render 96 the definitive edition? Have no memory of that Mario image? Dude, I 100% do. There's some pretty awesome... Um, the, the one of Yoshi was the weirdest. It was like Yoshi, like... It was literally Yoshi in a book. Like, he's like trapped in a book. It's like really freaky. It's really weird. We might, we might review them after this. 
just opened 20XX ISO and it scared the lever everything love on me. It's so loud. Well, what's what uh what's what volume settings is your dolphin on, my dude? If it's not below like 20%, your ears are gonna bleed. Yeah, I feel like the 64 DS would be considered the definitive edition. If the controls weren't crippled by the hardware it was originally on. 100 percent Luigi. I think you're spot on with that. And I think that ultimately compromises the experience for me. Like forgetful old. How's it going, Eon? Dolphin is always deafening, right? You've got to have it under 10%, like maximum, basically. Anything over 5% is painful. It is it is hilarious. Remember that one, Yoshi Story. Yeah, right? 20 max, 20XX max. What? Grant, I don't... I don't understand you sometimes. All right, so then you got training mode, which is pretty awesome. Training mode. <laughs> So we're, we're going to play some Falcon. We're going to play some Falcon. Because Falcon's really fun in this game. And any place you go has a new, like, training mode background. See that? Look in the background of these stages. If it's a daytime level, it's got light blue. If it's dark, if it's nighttime, it's got black and red. Like Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic the Hedgehog. But then you got this weird orange one for Yoshi's Island. It's like sunset mode. We always used to do like one fourth speed and do like zoom in camera and just admire the, the game up close. Look at that precision. Look at those lovely, well thought out animations. Isn't the fastest you can do like... Okay, the fat you can't do faster than one times. Pika! Such smooth animation. Yeah, this is a 60 FPS game, and it, honestly, it's really impressive. Oh. Training mall! <laughs> it's true, Grant. So are you celebrating today? Veterans Day. It's Golden Sun's birthday. Oh! Are you a Golden Sun fan, Tony? I always really liked the actual 3D diorama effect for the stages in 64. Twelcome Punch! At the end of the day, Super Mario 64 DS was just a bonus game packed with some pretty slick Casino Luigi minigames. <laughs> yeah, didn't weren't some of those also in um, New Super Mario Bros. on the DS? Yeah. Can we uh, get, get an F in chat for Captain Falcon's old side yeah. smash? Yeah. Oh, on stage select, right. I love that too. That's a good effect. Thanks for clarifying. I think I, I think that's what you're talking about, but I wasn't sure. Thank you. Thank you, Dingo. Thank you, Tony. Eh. You know what's funny? In the in the melee uh, files, the name of that sound effect of the of, of um Captain Falcon side smash it it refers to a kick instead of a, a punch. Or a, or a, or an elbow or whatever you want to call it. So it was planned to be the same, but they changed it later on. I found myself on Animal Crossing again. What? I thought you got bored of it, Annie. What happened? Your tunes changed. He has a great video on YouTube talking about it. Did a little video on it. Probably not much. Just probably too much performance to spare to go over default speed. That's true. Yeah, you're right. But in Melee, they did times two. F to the days of no knee falcon. It's true. Forward air was his nair in later games. He used to have a sex kick. Look how dopey he looks with the sex kick. Bleh. He looks so dorky. I realize that, like, most characters that have this move look stupid while they do it. Honestly. So I always go, what? I knew you had my mind read. Also, I love, like... How exaggerated the limbs would go when it would come to punches and stuff. Like, look how much larger his his like shoulder gets and stuff. It's great. So that's like the cartoony feel of it, you know. 
Yeah, some were in New Super Mario Bros, but 64 had them first. Gotcha. I play them on the New Super Mario Bros one a lot. Imagine if Falcon had a knee in 64. I love Z-canceling in this game too. It's so quick. It's so snappy. That was me doing a shield drop. Not really, but... Is it just me or can you fast fall faster in 64? I feel like you can fast fall a lot faster in 64 compared to like melee. Maybe it's just me being dorky. Just me? Okay. Forgot to mention Christy and her sister. And my sister are all in the same town for my sister's birthday. Unrelated. What? Wow, that is actually crazy. I know that uh, Christy went out to see Sarah. I didn't realize that's also where your sister was. That's crazy. Wow. Can never get enough gambling with Luigi. <laughs> All right, time to spawn some... The best, the only item you ever spawned in uh, training mode was the Pokeball. And then you can get like a really close view and see how how 2D they were. Goldine, Goldine. Goldine, Goldine. And does anybody know why they use Goldine instead of uh, Magikarp? Like, isn't Magikarp's whole thing? Like, oh, Magikarp's funny because Magikarp is useless. So, like, why did they make Goldine the one that came out of the Pokeball? I never got that. And does Goldine still come out of Pokeballs and, like, Ultimate and stuff? Or did they get rid of that after Melee? All in Columbia, Missouri. It just happens to be my sister's birthday. That is really funny. There's a lot of crazy coincidences here, dude. Sakurai probably liked Goldine more. That's very likely. That's very likely. Never mind giving off. I cannot get inspiration. I'm sorry, Annie. I didn't mean to like... I don't know. Make you second guess yourself. I'd honestly pay $60 if Nintendo re-released the Casino Luigi minigames. Really? I'm curious why that is. I wonder with the new restrictions on like the EU and stuff, if they'd be allowed to even sell that. Because like in... In new remakes of Pokemon games, they've like removed the freaking like gambling sections because it's against like the law or something. It's really stupid. It's just Goldine and Ultimate. Oh, it is? Okay. It is Goldine and Ultimate. Okay. I can't recall either of Dingo, but Eon's saying that that Goldine is an Ultimate, so. Probably cultural difference too. Maybe Japan views Goldine as worse than Magikarp. But, but I'm saying, like, Magikarp is literally a useless Pokemon. Like, it only knows Splash. And Goldeen actually knows, like, Bubble and stuff in the game, so. Oh, you want, you want to get sick? You want to get sick? Okay, watch this. I want you to stare at Samus at one-fourth speed while she uses her down B, okay? Splash is literally Magikarp's gimmick. Yeah, exactly. Look. Look at that. Doesn't that look freaking weird? I always thought that looked really gross when I was a kid. Like, but right before she goes into a ball. But that's funny, she didn't bounce on her bombs in this. That's funny, I don't remember that she couldn't do that in this game. Goldine is an alt, just check. Thanks, Eon. Solving the mystery for us. Hey, Smash, welcome back. It's because Magikarp evolves into Gyarados. Well, Goldine evolves into Sea King. Sakurai maybe just felt bad. <laughs> Doesn't didn't want to pick on Magikarp like everyone else was. Is that what's going on? I love the background details on this too. The the sprites of the the characters and stuff, the enemies. The little um Ivy ladder in the background. I love there's an animation for them to go inside of the pipes too. They just face the screen. <laughs> I just crave more Luigi gambling. Also, I doubt they'd be able to sell it because of the Clubhouse Games 51 Worldwide Classics. Just 
Got slapped with a mature rating. Is that because of the gambling stuff? That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Gyarados is in 64 though, right? Not Goldeen's evolutions. No, that's not true. See, um, I, not Seeking. Goldeen evolves into... Seeking is the evolution of a... Uh, is the pre-evolution of Seedra. Goldeen, no, Seeking. No, that's right. Goldeen evolves into Seeking, Gen 1. By the way, sure, I've told you, but as a kid, I convinced my half-cousin you can unlock Samus's brother, Shamus? I don't know that name. Shamus? Shamus? That's hilarious, Grant. Where that you can go into the pipes in 64, but not pipes in the later games? Can you not go into the, I think, wait. You can't go into the pipes in Ultimate? Are you sure? Oh, I love her back air. Her back air looks so cool in, in 64. I really like it. It's funny how Falcon had like borrowed moves from Samus. Right, you know what's funny? I bet Samus has borrowed moves from Falcon since Captain Falcon was like the original character for the, uh, whatever this game was originally called. I forgot what it was called, but. Horsey, Seedra, Kingdra. Thank you. I was getting them all confused. Seamus, gotcha. Hey, Rayu, how are you? We're just playing some Smash 64 and messing around with it because it's a beautiful, wonderful game, and I love it. Because of the gambling stuff, Clubhouse got slapped with a mature rating in places like Europe. That's the, the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. It was named after the sea they were in, like Dragon King or something. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. It's Dragon King Warriors or something like that. Yeah, you're right. It's something like that. It's funny how fast the down air is. It's so quick in 64. It's like immediate. In melee, there's like a delay. It's also fun to go into the main game and pause during certain times when like the, when certain like limbs are enlarged. I just think it's funny to do that. It was probably so cool seeing Samus in 3D like this. I think how many people think Dragon King is going to be the name of the property. Why is that, JS Grant? Dragon King, the fighting game, was the original title. Oh, really? Okay, thank you. I'm sure someone's seen Beta 64's video on it. Sakura. And Sakura worked on it. How did, how did Andrew pronounce it again? It was like Sakura something. It's funny, in training mode, you can only do two players. I forgot about that. Let's pick the balloon Pokemon. And let's go to... Rip Sector Z, it's not an ultimate because Corneria is just a better Sector Z. 20%, eh? Jigglypuff was just the joke character of the game. She would die if her shield broke. She had this secret move. It did a ton of damage. It's the name of a neighborhood in the city where Hal Labs was based. Gotcha. It's got the same, like, fan sound effect. Look how fast the up tilt is, dude. Also, that was, like, the same as Kirby's.
I'm not very good at my Z cancels. Puff is a Kirby clone, yeah. Clearly based off of Kirby. But, but the up smash is different. And over time, she's, she's had more changes done to her, right? I rested too early. It's code name, basically. And it's where the famous Pepsi Man photo with the mountain in the background takes place. Yep. Yep. Puff has used the same voice clips in every Smash game since 64. That's crazy. Is that really true? Are you sure about that, Dingo? Do you mean like the same voice actress or like all the same clips? She sounds different. I really want Pepsi Man to be a real character in the Smash Ultimate. No mod, no meme. Why is that? Why is that, Grant? The up tilt is so good. Same voice clips? Seriously? Also the best Link ever. I love Ocarina of Time. Like I love his voice actor. I love his character design. I just love everything about him. He looks very silly here because of the... Because Smash 64's graphics were very, like, you know, simplified. So the game could be at 60 FPS. But... Also, I love that. I love the boomerang. It's so good. Oh, Pepsi Man mod for ultimate. Look at that, Redzo. Funny callback to the community. It has to be something Pepsi would jump on. Oh, I see what you mean. So a tiny bit of statement in the commercialization of the community. Huh. I think you're asking to be a bit too deep and philosophical for what it is. Just my two cents, Mr. Mr. Grant. Ooh, look at that. 64 is so cool, dude. I love 64. I'd much rather play this than Ultimate, probably. I'm gonna be real. fast it is, though. My powers are only so great. No mod is a requirement. The dash dancing is so funky in this game, too. Ooh. If 64 even had half of Ultimate's roster, I played all the time. Hmm. Have you tried a remix, Grant? I feel like you like remix a lot. Melee's roster is too slim. Are you sure? I feel like Melee's roster is a pretty good size. How do you feel about brawls, Grant? I know that Smash would like Isaiah, only prefer 64 over other Smash titles. Yeah, Isaiah likes 64. Like, realistically, I mean, depending on how well the, the game's balanced, the reason why I don't care about, like, there being too much of a roster is, like, only some char only certain characters are considered good anyways. Like, and it, with a game as flexible as Melee, I don't know. I feel like there's enough in Melee for me. Brawl's about right, but I'm not counting character number. But also how viable everyone is. Hmm. 
When a game is like as deep as melee though, like, I don't know. Viable is a funny word to use in my opinion. Because at, at like the lowest level, pretty much anybody's viable, to be honest. Bevel characters in Brawler are one at a night. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, right. Oh, we're all so bad competitively. Melee 64 is really good. Yeah, I played Melee 64. My buddy, who I think made Melee 64, is in another project with me right now. He's awesome. I like him. Bubble character. Um, also, Melee, there are so many different play styles. Yeah, right? My Falco is different than Joe's Falcon. Falco is different than Megan's Falco. And you can tell by how we play? Yeah. Exactly. It's not the same, like, auto combos. Like, that's my problem with Ultimate. It, one of my problems with Ultimate. They're just auto combos, dude. There, there's no, like, variety or improvisation. Well, there's some, but significantly less because... There's just, like, optimal auto combos to do with certain characters in certain situations. And there's a bit of that in Melee, but really it's, like, a lot more, like, improvised than that. Melee, there are too many low tiers for my liking. That's why I like PM a lot more on the whole. Fair enough. Yeah, PM does a great job of, uh, you know, balancing other characters. But I think it comes at a cost, too, where there's a... Honestly, there's a lot of stuff in, in PM that are kind of, like, I don't know... They're a little janky for me, but my Falco is different than Joe's. I already read that. Um, I am so obnoxious with the Peach in PM or in uh, in Melee. And and, uh, and how are you obnoxious, Grant? Okay, so this is what my friend would do, right? My friend and Donnie knows what I'm talking about. Okay, my friend would do this. Say, look, Kirby's a block. LOL, it's a block. Kirby's a block. He'd pause during VS matches and just like rotate around Kirby's a block. We'd be like, right, Kirby's a block. You've done this like 30 times. And then, then he got to a point where he knew it, ignore, it annoyed us. So we just kept doing it for that reason. My problem with Melee is that all the good characters have that one move that's better than all the others. Marth, Falco Dare, Shine, Link Nair for some reason. So every single player will inevitably use them nonstop to fish for a death. <clears throat> hmm. So like Pikachu has Nair. Um... Sheik has fair. Falcon has every aerial. Fair, I guess. Play Plus has a great roster. There's not short or large roster characters. Yeah, I feel like Project Plus has a good, yeah, a good size roster. I feel like it's a bit overwhelming for me, though. I really don't find that to be true. Look at how Ginger plays Falco versus Mango. Yeah. Like, there, there's good moves to use for neutral, I guess. But that's not really the same thing. That's not really what you're talking about, right, Radzo? And that more than half the cast can barely compare to the other part. Again, only at the very highest level, Radzo. I would say. And even then, there's been upsets. So I don't know if that's completely um, true. Then I kept on hovering at the very top of the stage and umbrella and ran out. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> Melee. Some guy earlier today was trying to spam Samus Blaster on me. So I kept on overwhelming them with radishes. Oh, that's hilarious. You could tell that they were livid. I would hardly call Dare the only move Falco uses to fish for deaths. Yeah, it's very situational. Like Vox, you could say his move is shine, drill, up smash, grab, or nair. Yeah. When if Project Plus gets slippy like matchmaking, I'll play it again sometime, probably. Yeah, slippy like matchmaking has been a game changer, bruh. So Kirby looks so ugly when he does that in this game. You can't really see, so I can't angle the camera, but... Any of those could count for what you're saying is that one move. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Also, remember when Kirby had a sex kick too? His up air used to be this move.
Very creative with his forward air and down air. Phone died. Welcome back, Luigi. Glad you're with us in the land of the living. Low-level players mostly use those moves over and over again. Like, I find those situations hilarious. I was playing with Carl yesterday, and there were moments where I wasn't even being annoying, but just were in weird mix-ups I never saw before. Hmm. Most of my friends play as top high tiers, while I like to play as mid-low tiers just for fun, although Falco is my personal favorite top tier to play as. Nice, Dingo. What low tiers do you like playing? High level melee can't be reduced to players only using one move to win. It's a lot more than that. I agree. It's a lot more like chess. Sometimes um, I would try to do ultimate up B with Link in melee just for fun. Ultimate up B with Link in melee just for fun. What does that mean? I just don't like melee. I don't know why. So like any reasonable person, I'll probably say polarizing statements to persuade it response to help my understanding oh i just don't like melee but i don't know why i see what you're saying okay radzo interesting i like melee a lot as you know by the way radzo is part of the melee hd project he's really been really helpful in getting that project moving i'm, I'm like indebted to this guy he's awesome you guys should follow him on twitter he makes some are you the same username on twitter i think you are but you make some really sick renders man Kirby reminded me, last time I streamed, I was playing Melee and Esther was playing Kirby and down bead on, right on the edge of the stage. I smacked her twice, moved off the stage and fell like a hundred miles per hour, started dying. <laughs> I'm glad you played Esther, that sounds fun. Remember your Banjo is just a Duck Hunt clone video and how some people don't get sarcasm are still angry this very day? Yeah, Luigi. Luckily, more of the comments that have come in more recently have been people that get it. But in the beginning, especially people did not get it at all. All right, guys, be, be, be prepared to be wowed by my smash Nest. skills as Nest while I fight a level 9 Pikachu. But that doesn't help me understand why some characters almost never see places in tourney because they have fundamentally broken moves, like Kirby, Side B, in the air. Yeah. Well, I mean, Sheik has the freaking... Uh, Sheik has the whip, the whip move. Like, basically, her down B is a useless move. Her side B is a useless move, but she's still a top-tier character. So, I don't know that, like, characters having completely useless moves is necessarily, like, you know, it is a reason to dismiss them entirely. Like, Pikachu's... Pikachu's back air is pretty bad in Melee. But I guess it's got some utility. I mean, in, in Melee, like, lots of stuff has utility. Although, you're right, the side view with, with Kirby really has very little utility. Link's up B and ultimate would connect easily and kill opponents at early percentages, while Melee's up, up B would not connect properly. Oh, they can DI out of it. Gotcha, Dingo. Well, one thing that's cool you can do with uh, Link's up B and Melee is you can do, like, little stalls, where you run to the edge of the stage, do an up B, and you can immediately grab ledge. You can do cool stuff like that with Melee's up B with, with Link. I wish there was a dedicated short long hop button in melee. Hmm. Had no idea that was possible to move on the block on a flat surface, like somehow retain inertia. Oh yeah, if it's angled. Was it angled, Grant? Because if it's angled, yeah, you do move that way. Um, a, a dedicated short hop long hop button in melee would be cool, I guess. In melee links up B, utility is grounded. Yep, it sends huge knockback and weird angles. Yeah, exactly. Also, Zane's Roy beat Ginger's Falco. What? That's crazy. Tier lists matter, but not nearly as much as people say. Oh, oh they use that as an example. They meant like just tonight again. I was like, what? Is it something happening right now? Sorry, I just don't buy it. I don't buy it either. Yeah, I don't either. I completely agree, Donnie. It was left side of Final Destination. Oh, really? Weird. Yeah, maybe it was some weird collision thing. Oh, gosh. Pika, 
That didn't work. I still wish I could have option on auto L cancel against Smash CE because if everyone's doing it right, you're not getting rewarded as much as punished for messing it up. Yeah, that's the classic. Uh... Oh, there's items on. Nice. You know, that's the classic. Is L canceling a good mechanic or not debate? And I'm kind of indifferent about it. I can see both. I can see both sides. I tend to agree with allowing L canceling a bit more. Just because, like, I don't think it's that much of a bad, bad thing, but I also completely understand why people would say it's a useless mechanic. It, but there are situations, there are uses, there are situations where not L canceling is technically helpful. So technically, it's another option, and more more options is better than fewer. So that's kind of why I go back to that part of the argument is, you know, you you, have, you either don't have an option or you do have an option. I feel like having an option would be would be better. Just, especially in a game like Melee, where there's not like one right way to do everything, in my opinion. Even if it seems straightforward, there's exceptions to a lot of stuff like that, usually. Please don't knock me off the stage. I think I'm the expert of throwing items at people when you played like with my friends. Dang, you are aggressive going after that sword. Level 9 CPUs in this game are tough. She felt like a rock, like much faster than possible. Huh. I wonder why. Darn it. I could have gotten it at a better angle. I think I would have gotten it. When is not L canceling at advantageous? Um, there was an example. I forgot what it was, but someone was talking about it. I can't remember what it was, but there was a technically a scenario. I think they talked about mix-ups, maybe? They talked about mix-ups, but like... I don't remember the exact context. Oh, PG-1. Darn. I would assume for some Hurt Box nonsense, when Pikachu squishes into the ground for falling. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That that may have been it, Radzo. They're very anti-L canceling. Hmm. I would play most of the mid low tiers in melee. They look fun, especially Roy. They are fun. And that's the thing about melee is the low tiers are even really fun. I was trying to get Lola to clip it, but you didn't notice it. And by the time I explained what I was trying to do, um, Grant, you can clip. There's, um, you have a stream deck, right? You can, there's a, there's like a clip it button on stream deck. So if you want, and also you can clip it, you can clip things automatically in your Twitch dashboard. You can just click clip and it will do it yourself. Or you can, um, if you save your VODs, you can create like a, a marker and include a description of the marker for later and you can clip it later if you want. As a mechanic, I think it's ridiculous. One of the reasons I love Rivals, it gives the mechanics that are fun and useful, it takes away the bad ones. Hmm. That's fair, Donnie. I don't mind L canceling that much. How much longer will the stream last? Um, 20 minutes. We'll end at 9 o'clock at normal. And, uh... Guys, I will be announcing a lot more about my uh, Saturday stream. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be a crazy speed run. A speed run. So, um, and we'll, it'll be all about melee. It'll be, we'll play slippy games with viewers um, during part of it. We'll look at trivia. We'll look at glitches in the game. We'll look at like early promo stuff for melee, the whole thing. You have work. When, when do you work, Hyper? It's going to be like a 10 to 12 hour stream. It's going to be a long boy. So chances are you could probably make it for part of it. It was clipping on the dashboard, but it was past the 30 seconds because I was blown away. Before third monitor was set up, I had... Oh, you had to switch which windows. Okay. That makes sense, Grant. I get that. That's why I recommend your stream deck, dude. You can just make a button on your stream deck that just clips it. And you can just press it and you don't have to like do anything to do it. It's like 10 seconds to even process what happened. 
and Melee HD Showcase featuring not me. <laughs> exactly, yeah, Razzo is uh, totally not helping me with the Melee HD project because it's very secret and nobody would know. All right, I'll ask a, a Smash question. Ooh, let's hear it, Hyper. What's gonna be your Smash question? I need to mess with it more. Plan to start active, actually actively work on my stream setup. Yay! That's awesome, dude. Let me know if you need help with that, by the way. I'd be happy to help you. How is your um your Discord server going, by the way? Any more progress on that besides having a logo and uh, setting up the channels and stuff? Gosh dang it, I forgot to turn off uh Whoa. I forgot to turn off uh Item. Oh, I can't turn off items yet. Why not? That's funny. How do I unlock that? I should have spent my time in trying to unlock that. How to unlock uh, item. Item select smash 64. A hundred versus mode matches. Oh, okay. That's hilarious. You have to do a hundred versus mode matches to unlock it. That's, that's pretty awesome. I have a bare bones stream layout, chat alerts, background image, and eh, it works. Kind of want to do more with it, just need to work with it. Yeah, it takes a lot of finessing and work to get it to look right, Redzo, but it is really fun. I, re I really enjoy it a lot. Set up main channels, I think. Need to figure out roles and stuff. Want to steal, want to still steal a lot of your rules? Dude, I'm more than happy to share them with you, dude. I need to mess with them more. Plan to start actually doing more than a month, more than a month. Cool stuff, bro. Um, okay, cool. I just want to check my Reddit thread. All right. So the way to unlock uh, the rule select, right? Let's go to the let's go to the versus records. I think there's like eight right now. What is it again? It's like okay, it's eight. 10. Okay, we're like really close to 100 already. So what I'll do, we'll set it to one stock and we'll grind it, bro. We'll grind it, bro. Who's going to be the big loser? I'll we'll have Ness be the big loser and we'll have Fox be the big winner. And you can pick the, the, the stage where it's the quickest to die and then just kill myself. Almost popped up because I thought it was melee. <laughs> Dude. Eli, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Use the birthday command right now. Do not ask questions. Do not question it. Use the birthday command. And I want you to I want you to feast your eyes on what you see. Okay. It's true. It's 100 percent true. 12 hour 10 to 12 hour melee stream. It's gonna be a melee speedrun in a category that has not been done yet. That I'm about to invent. Be there or be square, bro. Be there or be square. Because it's going to be nothing like you've ever experienced before. Nothing. I don't want to spawn in the middle of the stage, though. I wonder if there's a stage where I spawn more than the end. Maybe on Peach's Castle. Let's see, maybe I spawn faster on this one. Oh, probably not. Probably the middle of the stage still. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna be out of town around 2 p.m. EST to celebrate my birthday. Oh, that's right, yours is the 13th. <laughs> Two hour drive from EDM concert, then book in a hotel, some cool. What? That's fun. That's fun. I'm sorry I'm gonna miss it, dude. But for good reason, I understand. It's your birthday too, man. That's right, I'm sure there'll be some highlights from the VODs and stuff that I can share with you. I'm procrastinating really hard, but I was going to ask you if you could add a character to Smash 64 minus Banjo Kazooie, who'd you add? To Smash 64? That's a good question. In fact, I don't even think my answer would be Banjo and Kazooie, to be honest. <clears throat> Although maybe it would be, come to think of it. What would I add to Smash 64? 
Um. Hmm. A lot of melee characters would be cool. Um, it makes the most sense, though. I think, like, Ganondorf could be cool. Or... Mewtwo. Or Birdo. Birdo. I want Birdo in Smash 64. I'm a little sad. Don't be sad, Eli. Don't be sad. I mean, I'm a little sad too, but it's fine. Because you always default to Banjo and it's too easy. It's because it's a good choice. I mean, it's already universe brain if you're thinking that way. I won't be around as I work, but have fun. Thanks, Dingo. I'm sorry you won't be around. Be there or be square. Minecraft Steve. All right. I'm going to be absent. <laughs> Got him. Good one, Luigi. <laughs> it works, trust me. All you need to do is on the star screen, press A, B, A, A, C left, C L, C up, C down, B, A, C down. Hadouken analog input, D up, D up, D, 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 L, D, R, D, L, D, R, Z, and start. Awesome, I'll try that, yeah. That's why you should play remix screens. All right, BRB, gonna play she can melee in 64. Bruh. I'll play, I'll play Remix one of these days, Hyper. I'll play Remix one of these days. I want to unlock item control on this first, though. Double bum. I think the last 10 minutes, I'll just grind this out, and then we'll raid, raid, we'll raid a friend. We'll raid a friend. This game's winner is actually if I make if I make a Fal if I'm Falcon I just run the fastest so I'd probably do it faster than Falcon. I wonder if that's definitely faster. You think he'd use a Game Shark at this rate? A Game Shark. This is on this is on official hardware, my dude. Do, do they make do they make a Game Shark for the Wii U Virtual or the Wii Virtual Console? Probably not. I guess it depends where I spawn. If, if I spawn in the center of the ship, uh, it's pretty close to the end. But probably still farther. Oops. Let's go back actually. I want to see how many ones I've already done. Data VS records. 8, 10, 16, 17, 18, 18. That's right, we're almost a fifth of the way there. No. Going here is not the way. It's definitely all about uh, Peach's Castle. All about Peach's Castle. Ultimate is best Smash game because it has Minecraft, Steve, and Banjo. I mean, if that's your top priority, then you're correct. Yes. But I do not think it's the best Smash game. The fact that it has Banjo in it is huge, though. I agree. That is awesome. I agree with you, Luigi, in some respects. Alright, so now we're at 20. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna make 100 <laughs> here. But we'll make a dent. We'll make a dent. I think after I get 25, so four more, I'll uh I'll end stream and we'll raid somebody. No derps tonight, which is pretty awesome. So no uh at least not yet. I might derp, or somebody might redeem a derp-worthy thing in the next little bit. But, as it stands, none currently. Game set. 
Read this wrong. Kappa. I read it perfectly, sorry. Sorry, Annie. Alright, this is the third one. Brawl is one of my favorites during its... During its something, just because Sonic made his Smash debut. Oh, era. Fair enough. Yeah, Sonic was a big deal in Brawl. I remember that still. I remember the day he was revealed. There was that, like, reveal trailer for him and stuff. That was very exciting stuff. Very exciting stuff. Very, very exciting stuff. All right, we'll do one more, and then we'll uh, find somebody to raid. Oh, nice. How you doing, Fall Guys, Annie? How you doing? Get any dubs? Get any dubs? All right. Do, 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 do. Thank you, Smash 64, for being a good game. All right. So with that, let's go to the camera scene. And let's play some Muzak while I figure out who to raid. Ugh. Of course, Annie. Thank you so much for being here and and the bits and hanging out and being awesome as always. We got our raid scene ready to go. No derps. I just simply didn't derp. Simple as that. I know it's inconceivable to think that that's possible, but it happens once in a while. Happens once in a while. Okay. Let's uh observe the the Twitch universe and see if we need to raid somebody. Oh, uh, do you, Dingo? All right, well, have an amazing sleep, my friend. Thanks for hanging out and chatting and being cool. You rock. You rock. Hmm, we got some people streaming tonight. Let's see. Who should I raid? Let's raid Hex and Heck. We haven't raided her in a little bit. Let me find a raider. Oh, she just started streaming too. Wait, is that one hour? Oh, it's an hour 25, not a minute 25. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, we're going to raid Hex and Hex. She's awesome. Give her a warm David Kimball hello. Okay. Thanks, Lolo. Um, good night, everybody. Destroy Melissa's chat with the hype. I will see you guys real soon. Again, do not forget the birthday stream, November 14th, Saturday, 8 a.m. Pacific time. I will see you all there. You are lovely. Goodbye.